Hello everyone and welcome back. We're here for another Freaky Friday. Got the skeleton crew coming around. Uh, this is scenario, I think, six of the Carcosa cycle. If you haven't been watching, all those videos are available on YouTube. Uh, this is the Pallid Mask, um, scenario six, which I'm excited about. I am also known beyond just being Zach as Joe Diamond, <laughs> my investigator. I'm Joe <laughs> Diamond. Uh, I've been having a good time. Uh, Steven, you're playing um, Jim Culver, is that right? Hold on, let me text my friends real quick. Just kidding. I'm just pulling up the chat. Yeah, I'm playing uh, Jim it. Culver. It took me a minute to yeah, get a yeah. joke. That's funny. <laughs> it's like, Friday. It's, been, it's actually weirdly, it's a weird week. Midstream, I'm just going to start pulling out my phone. Like, if you're, yeah. if you're taking a long time, I'm just going to be like... Uh, let's just make the world even worse. Yeah. Um, here's the thing. Jim Culver is, is on point now. I feel like we got there. Ready. Just like... Uh, really, the last steps in my build is one more copy of Black Cat. I finally got Charisma. Uh, so I'm feeling great about the status of Jim, Jim Culver right now. Absolutely great. I've heard a lot of good things about this scenario. People are talking. People, People are love talking. this scenario. Yep. We, we know there's a man in the Pallid Mask, but what does that mean about the Pallid Mask itself? We also know that there's caverns or uh, catacombs. Catacombs. We're diving I saw, deep. There's like 20 catacomb locations. Yep. This is going to be a fun one. You kind of know it right when you see it. It's going also, to be uh, awesome. Quick answer for Ben Sweeney saying, I'd love to learn a good jump in point for this game. Uh, check out, go back about 12 weeks now. Crazy. Isn't that crazy? This is the end of week 11. Yep. Uh, we did five streams in a row. We started with a Forgotten Age, and those first five to ten streams, we were basically acting like we had a budget, and we started with a couple hundred bucks of stuff, and we expanded slowly. But I think that would be a good, uh, a good way to kind of get your bearing if you're interested in that, or you can just hang out here and learn by osmosis. Uh, t this is a great community. I, this is really cool. So obviously, uh, if you've been watching, you know that this is my first real foray into Arkham. We did the Forgotten Age, then we did the core set, then we did the hotel. Uh, mm -hmm. scenario, then we did this. Celsius Hotel, yeah. And so I hadn't ever really divin, dove, dived? Dived. dived. Isn't that weird? It's dived. <clears throat> That's a weird word. Uh, yeah, I hadn't really it, ever it, dived it, into Arkham. It's one of the weird ones. And ultimately, I have been. And so like, I signed up to get the investigator started through the subscription. It's a clean point, because literally right now, if you're wondering, Weaver of the Cosmos just came out. Robert just handed uh, these over for his, to add to his collection. Um, and Essentially, it's kind of a cool point because I was able to sign up for all the subscriptions because I know In's Mouth is going to start. Yep. Like it's that's good the time next to start. Box is coming out. That's the next pack that's coming out. So that, that was really convenient. Uh, but then I started approaching the problem and I was like, what do, how do I store this? It's actually yeah. got a really weird uh, situation because of the way the, the scenario cards work and you're building the scenarios with every pack and the player cards and all this stuff. But the reason I say all that is that this community is awesome. I posted in the Facebook group. Within an hour, I had 100 plus responses. There you go. Of like, here's what we're going to do. So if you're looking for a jumping off point, honestly, this community is great. You can ask in the chat right now. You can ask on the Facebook group. You can ask. There's a Mythos Busters Discord that I'm in that's also great. And you will get a, a million and one responses. We also have a buyer's guide on the website, which kind of runs down the basics of what you need to get started. So there's, there's a ton of resources for that, and you're definitely welcome here. I think it's a, great, uh, it's a great community to be a part of. So if you're interested in playing, you definitely should. Also worth noting, on the Weaver in the Cosmos uh, pack, uh, people have been asking. Uh, it's been the weirdest LCG release ever. Uh, obviously, Corona is a thing. Uh, we, had a, we basically got the notification that the, the supply was coming. We charged subscribers. Uh, if, if you're unfamiliar, we have subscriptions. I already mentioned those. But um, we charged subscribers, and then literally not even a day later, they were like, actually, we're delaying these, uh, and we don't yep. know when. Uh, well, now is when. They're coming out today. If you're a subscriber that was charged for that back at the end of April or March, back at the end of March, it was supposed end to be of March. beginning of April, uh, those should be, if you're in the U.S. at least, those should be on your doorstep today, m most Ish. likely. You can check tracking maybe tomorrow. Um, very Almost all, all subscription shipments usually show up by the Saturday after release, if not on the, the release day. So thank you for bearing with us and being patient and waiting on those. If you sign up after that point, uh, you'll, you'll be ready to go as soon as Innsmouth kicks off. Um, depending on which subscriptions you had, you can always check your account and see what's active there. But a uh, huge shout out to everyone that does that, because that's yeah. how we're here yeah, and doing what great. we do. And that's uh, one of the great things about Arkham. It's once you actually get the start of a new cycle, it, it's pretty easy to stay up, right? You get the deluxe, and then you get a pack a month. The hardest part with all these kind of LCGs, luckily it's not a big problem with co-op, 
you have to if you if you want to go back and get everything, that's when it's like a compounding. Like okay, there's always more, always more, always Which, more. Once you if you're caught up, I mean, it's the, super easy. The nice thing about that though is that if you're getting into a co-op game late, you can take it at your pace. Unlike a competitive game where there's a meta and you need certain cards to make decks work, in this game, I mean, you can literally right now buy the core set and start mm -hmm. working your way through. You have, it, at your pace, tons of content to, to be able to catch up on, uh, which is really cool. I think that one of the most challenging things actually is there's packs, like the one I always heard about and didn't have any context for, is Miskatonic Museum, Yeah. that have really good player cards in them, so people buy a lot of those packs, and then they go out of print faster than the rest of the cycle. Yeah. And so that's one of the things about staying current. Once like I got in, it's like, I'm not going to miss Innsmouth, because right now I looked and I was like, well, what would it take for me to go back and buy these older cycles? Pretty much every cycle has a product that's missing. Sometimes you have to really try to track it down, too. Yeah. Uh, really I, try. There, like a week or two ago, someone in chat was like, I've called like 12 stores in the country to try to get everything, and they finally did it. But it was like, they're like calling all these different places that might have yep. it, which is, is crazy. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a, a, a interesting version of a card game, because it, normally it's like, I remember back in the day, it's like people being hesitant to get into a card game because it's just like, I don't have the... I can't catch up. Yep. It's too far, and I don't, I don't feel that way in Arkham. Yeah, the competitives did that, mainly, because, mm -hmm. you know, to have a good metagame, you got to have all the cards available. Uh, Phyllis Master, shout out to you. I, I saw you uh, got a whole stack of stuff on my doorstep this morning. It was a fun one. I got the novella this morning as well, so that's great. Stephen Collins saying yours is going to be in today. Hopefully, when I get home, it will be there. We hope that, too. Uh, Vincent Rubio saying all these guys getting their TC stuff are like, happy Father's Day to me. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Hodevec. Mine's waiting there till Saturday. Oh yeah, that's worth pointing Saturday. out too. Uh, Chris is a Thanks, Link, incredible right. local. Uh, hosts a bunch of demos for for Arkham. I see him post in the Facebook group all the time about that. Um, but we're doing. If you are a local and you are a subscriber and you haven't seen this already, uh, Saturday is the basically the two Saturdays after any release of a product that we have a subscription for. We're doing in store, not in store. Uh, curbside pickup curbside at the store. Pickup, yeah. uh, so if you have any of those and you want to come grab them, you can do that. And then if, if it's not picked up uh, after two Saturdays, we'll just ship it to you and you'll get it. Um, or if you just want it to be shipped, you can notify us and we'll get that to you um, just so you can use it and have fun and have a good time even if you're isolated. That's the best time sometimes for these games. Yep, thank you, Rasmus. Team Covenant rules with yeah. a Z. Thank you for that. Thanks. Real, uh, real quick, I, uh, welcome everybody. Hi. We're, Did you see Alex Bechter's comment here? Let's connect with you guys here as best we can. Connect with Alex on the chat real quick. All right, Alex, let's get connected. You're going to love it. Uh, uh, Mike Rudin got all my stuff today, too. Super pumped. Thanks, guys. Mike Rudin's a person I've seen in the flesh. That's right. I he came. we may have uh, came for a shook hands. Maybe Covenant hugged. Masters. Yeah. yeah. He was there when you had your infamous my $20, $20 Sazerac. Sazerac. He didn't know about it. Nope. I didn't say anything because I have class and grace. Alex Becker, thanks to Steven. I've been listening to Casey Musgraves every day there since There it Monday. is. And look, hey, Lanky Rat says... It's, it's a great album right Casey now, Casey Musgraves honestly. is the best country artist out there from wow. Lanky Rat. Good for you guys. What up, Toke? Yeah, good. Okay, great. Thomas yeah, says, seriously, we are Seriously, check connected. it out. I mean, you, you, you'll be surprised if you're thinking, ah, I don't know. You'll, you'll be surprised. I think Golden Hour is a, probably a, a kind of a milestone of an album for country music in general. I think it's a beautiful fusion of two things we haven't seen fused together quite so beautifully in the past. I'm going to download all of her albums. Okay. And then I'm going to start at the beginning. Yep. And I'm going to listen to the whole back you're, catalog. You're going to understand the evolution, yeah. And then I feel like we're obligated to do a analyze, either a stream or a podcast, a bonus podcast, sure a secret episode, uh, of the comparison of Casey Musgraves to Taylor Swift. And then you need to watch her uh, Christmas special on Amazon if it's still there. Casey Musgraves? Yeah. She did a variety show. It's hilarious. She's got kind of a weird anti-awesome charisma. It's very strange. You'll, you'll understand what I mean when you get into it. Um, okay. Uh, let's, so, let's dive in, shall we? We updated our decks last time. Yeah. Um, and I'm trying to remember. Like you're at, I agree. Golden Hour, best country album of the year. Groundbreaking. Is it like literally, or is this just like subjective? I don't know that it won any awards. It probably did. I don't know. Who cares, right? Seems. I'm j I just didn't know but if it was my worth gosh, shouting yeah, out something. So good. So I'm going to put these away. We don't and need let's go, let's dive in here to the also, overhead camera. Also, probably worth mentioning the uh, beautiful piece of shiny you have oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. on the table here. Got a here. prototype here of the. Of Carcosa. It's a it's a, see it. a more finished version. If you flip it over, it's more finished. We got the felt. We got on the there. felt on the back. We're getting there. Looks like it's going to be a probably a couple of weeks, and then we can have these guys up. And then we'll be rolling. 
Look at that thing. It looks great. It just has a good like. It's kind of got that. It's kind of got that pallid mask. That kind of mystery of things kind of appearing, disappearing. The graphics have a nice like. It's like a shine too. It's, it's like a. It's so good. There's it's a like, dark undertone to it, which is yeah. good. That's, that's how Carcosa feels, right? To it, yeah. It's like a little shiny, but then like also like there's something under there. Yeah. All right. Let me uh, let me make sure this is driving me crazy that this isn't centered. I'm just gonna sort these. That's more better. Here. That's better. Okay. Let's go. All right, so I took, I have Charisma now, and I have one point left over, and then I also upgraded a Ward of Protection for free. Arcane Research at this point has, this is the eighth scenario, or sixth? Six. Sixth scenario. So Arcane Research has granted me five, 10 extra experience this game so far, this campaign so far. So just think about that. Seems good. 10 extra and experience. I, do I have two physical trauma, is that right? Yes, no, yes, no, only one. I was playing with a handicap. You didn't get knocked out any any time. We haven't gotten knocked out in a long time. I don't in a long time. I, I try to avoid getting knocked out at most most times in life. What's up, Michael Waldo asking um, how we're doing today? Wanna hang around and spoil the scenario but always need to drop by. Good to see you, Michael. Thanks for dropping in. Yeah. We're doing we're doing as, as well as you can do, I think. Yeah, this week was obviously heavy. There's a lot going on. It's a time of reflection. Um, there there's no doubt about that. It's a time of reflection and it's a uh, it's a time in history, and significant. It's significant. Probably going to be one of the most significant years of our lives. Yeah, God, let us hope so. Yeah, I can't. I can handle a lot more significance, honestly. In my yeah. life. I but good know. news is, I got. Uh, I did um, officially this week. Uh, we've made progress on our house. Hey. Yeah. So the the all the banking apparatus, I guess, was back working on this Monday, uh, and ha so we had. Been try all we're trying to do, Jonathan owns acres, and we're trying to get a, a number of those acres split off from that land so that we can buy them and build our house. Uh, and that had been in the works for three and a half, four months. And the ideal version of this is not only like a custom house, but ultimately a completely energy independent, sustainable That's the idea, vibe. yeah. Our, our first, we're originally going to go with the shipping containers, so we're just gonna have, it's essentially gonna be a tiny house. Um, not necessarily because we idealize a tiny house, um, but it's just the most reasonable thing for us to do to get out to the property as soon as we can. Um, and then while we're living there and paying off the, that loan, we'll, uh, once that's all paid off, then we can go into the big house and start building that. But we got the land release. The, the bank figured it out and they were like, okay, we're back and we figured this out. We hadn't done something like this in like years and years, so we had forgotten how to do it. <laughs> Uh, but now all is well, my, so my. we can make progress, and so it looks like we're probably three-ish months away if everything goes well. All right, progress yeah. as promised. Yeah, yeah. It's been, uh, it's been, uh, we've been trying this for about three years, so it's been a long, long journey. David Chandler on chat says, replying to Zach Reeves, that's your solution to everything. Is Zach Reeves on chat? What's up, Zach? I don't see Zach. I know Zach's David, too. Old high school buddy. Zach, I hope you're doing well, if you can hear this. It's been a while, but I uh, hope you're doing well. Yeah. And before we dive in, too, like... Thank you, guys. I'm, I, how, how's everyone doing out there? I, 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 a lot's going on, uh, and I'm glad to have all of you here. Hopefully, this can be a place where you can uh, take your mind off the world for a minute. And on to the world of Carcosa. Now, don't say the name. Remember. He who shall not be named. Don't say the name. Hamburger. <laughs> Valentine says, I'd like to ask, is it safe to buy any, any expansion in Amazon? Any, are they legit or does it depends? So the thing about Amazon is uh, the way it works, you just never know. I mean, board, this is actually a significant issue for board games particularly uh, because there's a lot of people uh, that basically, uh, like with games like Ticket to Ride or Catan, they'll scan in the assets, they'll make it super cheap in another country, and then they'll sell it on Amazon. And because it's not the publisher or Amazon directly selling it, they're just fulfilling on it. Uh, it, it can. I, I've seen some hilariously bad copies <laughs> of a game like Catan. Yeah. I've also seen some pretty decent copies, but it's like clear, like some. It's like people are like, I noticed my cards look a little different than my friend's edition. Like what happened? <laughs> um, so you know, if you're you buying, a, if you're buying a fifteen dollar <laughs> expansion, um, I, I don't know. It's not. It's not the craziest risk in the world, especially if that's the only place you can find the pack. I get it. I've I bought stuff like that off of Amazon and eBay before, um, but. 
You just, you don't know. You never know. Uh, Valentin Rule saying uh, that you just got that. Zach McGaugh, the streams are a welcome distraction. Mr. Figaro, doing great considering. Got some beer for later and making a pizza. That sounds like a great that afternoon. really nice. Uh, ben Clapperton, hello to you. Uh, ben Sweeney, NYC has been interesting. Well, that's an understatement. Matthew Knapp, as you said, this week has been mentally taxing. Cuddly Zombie had a rough week, but I'm doing much better now and have been looking forward to this stream. We're really happy to hear that. That's really great. Zombie, that's great. Um, Billy Fellin, it's been a momentous and historic week in Richmond for sure. You were not wrong there. Um, Henry Criticus, uh, hey guys, any little tease for Black Widow? Have you cracked into the pack yet? We haven't. Nope. We know of some of the cards, but yep. we haven't cracked into the pack. We'll get into that on Monday. Uh, Mark Davies on uh, Twitch saying, I'm, I'm good. I really enjoyed yesterday's stream. That's cool. We did uh, Exploration of Vampire, The Eternal Struggle, a game that we've has been in our periphery for literally over two decades, and we finally got it on the table, learned the mechanics, and it was a fascinating experience. Uh, Northern Lights over Arkham. I'm doing fine, long work week behind me. Now time to relax watching some Arkham, and tomorrow it's time to record and edit a few more videos for my YouTube channel. That's great. Relax, enjoy today, and contribute tomorrow. Yep, that's Zen, awesome. Zen Trickster, I love this very comment. glad it's Friday. Always happy to have everyone here. It's a great place of positivity. Much love to all. That right. is fantastic. Love hearing that. You have no idea. Yeah, Joe Platt, saying, strange week. Been enjoying your guys' streams immensely. Thanks so much. Uh, happy great. to be here. Happy to be here, Joe. Thanks for, for being here on your end. CJM saying, painting my first zombies from, from, from Zombicide on last Saturday because of you guys. Pretty pumped to get my horde all painted up. So was you that just because... just got to get started, right? Was that because... Oh, I'm curious. Um, was that because of the paint streams or the paint blog or just us talking about it? Um, what, what motivated you to do that or what really helped you get across that? Because um, that's something... I think it's a great hobby, especially in a moment like that, all the isolation going on, for people to have something to do in some way to be a part. And I, th I know how difficult it can be to get in. And if I hadn't had people... Like James and Tim, honestly, coaching me along. There's no way. Yeah. Like, I would never have so made tough. it. Yeah. Ben Clapper is saying, tracking, I love hearing this, Ben. Tracking for my investigator tokens went dark a couple of weeks ago. It's international. Just received a customs notice to pay a charge tomorrow, so should have them tomorrow. Great. And just think about uh, all the important things that customs money is doing, which hopefully in your case is actually true. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Uh, Henry Critica is going marching in Charlotte tomorrow. Good luck, Henry. Stay Be safe. Be safe. Make your voice heard. Uh, Tilly saying, time of change indeed. Graduated and starting a new job on Monday, plus looking for a new place to live. I cannot imagine. Let me tell you something. I thought we were getting hammered when we came out of college. Um, and the, I came out of college at the, the housing bubble. Recession and the housing bubble and all of that. We did not know what was what really was about to happen. Yeah. I, I think about if I was graduating high school or college right now. Uh, yeah, I actually have. This is not um, good. To I have a nephew and a cousin. Uh, who are graduating high school this year. Mm -hmm. And we got the invites, and it's like, hey, we're probably not going to have a party, but like, yeah. and it's like... Drive by and wave. I just can't imagine. It's like, I remember coming out of high school and being like, all right, what do I want to go do with my life? Yeah. And like, at this point, And it's it like, seemed like doors were open, even though it was a little bit like, I don't know, it's like, it's tough, but I can do it, you know? And yeah. now it's just kind of like... I don't even know. It's constant trauma. <laughs> like, it's constant <laughs> national trauma. Uh, Aaron Clark says, congrats, Stephen. I've been fascinated by the tiny house lifestyle. Maybe in a different life, I would have given that a try. Aaron, it's never too late. You can always cut off it is too late of your you, house and burn it. It is too late <laughs> if you have a, uh, a family, a large family, because a family of yeah. like four or six. I, yeah. I have a few friends that live the, the tiny house dream, actually. And then uh, a, two of them actually were like bummed out and excited. They're having a kid, and it was like, Unfortunately, this just doesn't work just anymore, so it, yeah. we're going to sell the, the tiny more rooms. Yeah. Tomas saying, we have TC stream. What more do we need? Great question. Uh, Link, you're at. See you Monday. All right. We'll see you then. Uh, Parker saying, what's up? What's up to you, Parker? And Chris Peach, this week has been the longest year ever, guys. Yep. I agree. We know it. Um, and this year has been the longest decade of my life. I can't catch up to your guys' chats. I'm sorry. We're just going to have to dive in here. Uh, Isaac Dupay, though, saying hello from Minnesota. Definitely been a bit crazy here. Absolutely. Uh, hats or hearts out to you there in you Minnesota. See, Techno Maestro said, hey, Team Covenant, watching you play through this and TFA has gotten me back into the game. I just started a Circle Undone run last night and can't wait to pick up the packs from you later this month. Fantastic. I really appreciate that and love, love that we could help you get back into a game in a community like this one. Fantastic. Fade13 uh, was saying, catching up on the campaign so you could watch today, so catch us live, that's great. It's a lot, dude. Even Carcosa, I was thinking about this last night. It's like, this is scenario six, so you're probably looking at 20 to 30 hours 
to be able to be current on this scenario, oof, that's a lot. That's a big ass. That's like yeah, <laughs> several seasons of whatever you could else you could be watching. <clears throat> Man, uh, Joshua Creasel, it's a heck of a thing. Just started a new job in an emergency room last week. It's been an interesting time to do so. Wow. God bless you, Joshua. Thank you. Um, Lanky Rad just moved to a new condo Saturday and will be unpacking boxes all weekend while watching Team Covenant videos. <laughs> we're happy to be there. We can't, re- you know, obviously we're recorded versions of ourselves, but I assure you that our energy is with you in those moments. Kang's comment here says, Zach, your attention to Cap's paint job makes my Batman look like Sad Flick. Which is hilarious. Oh, sweet. Vincent J. Rubio. Hey, congrats, Vincent. Uh, just got an email. I'm registered for my grad program. I'm turning 30 this year, so I feel a little behind relative to my friends, but I'm excited. Hey, it's, that's, that's just great. Congratulations, man. Keep following what you want to do. Um, okay. Let's go. How about... Also, before we go, I just want to say everyone oh, interacting... I've just been at a blank board the whole time. Everyone interacting with chat. Uh, that's awesome. I, I love yeah, having thanks, you here. Guys. And it's as it's as as much means as much to us as it does to you. I think I would say like it, this is very uh, good for us to be able to hang out with you guys. You guys being that interactive is just uh, incredible. Pallid mask is that what we're doing? Yep. To the book. To the book, Charlie. We'll go ahead and set this one up on camera. We've had some questions about how to set up X, Y, or Z, so it's probably worthwhile to show them. So what I do is I start every scenario in a cycle. I grab the core set cards and I grab all of the Carcosa box cards, and they're just in these stacks. And then you have the one stack of cards from the pack that Zach's got, and then we'll read how to set it up, because we'll almost always need both of these stacks. <laughs> King the Time Lord, I'm 50 and half blind. Welcome to the future, if you, it won't <laughs> if you won't mind when you get here. That's hilarious. Yeah, man. I. I I just remember being, you know, it feels like I was 16 yesterday, just like, oh, I've got forever. Well, you've lived a whole nother life since then. I've lived a whole nother life since then, yeah. Scenario six, the pallid mask. Check, check the campaign log. If you did not escape the gaze of the phantom, or if you were unable to find Nigel, read intro one. If you found Nigel, his abode, or his Ingram. We, we found his home. We found Nigel read intro Ingram's two. home. The contents of Nigel Egram's home answer none of your questions about the king in yellow, but do hint at where you should head next. The old tattered map you found on his coffee table depicts a section of the infamous catacombs of Paris. Now remember, we got to the, the house, and there was the he's already here written on the, the mirror, wasn't it? Or the window, or a mirror, or a wall, or something. The walls had it already here. written, it said, he's already here. Super scary. Um, one particular room on the map has been circled with pin, and next to it is written, the key to opening the path lies here. You swallow your fear and head immediately to the entrance to the catacombs underneath Rue de la Tombe de Mm. According to your campaign log that you entered the catacombs on your own. Mm. (laughs) It seems like something I should be forced to do, not uh, chose to do. It's like, it's funny, the the idea is... um, you swallow your fear and head immediately for the interest of the catacombs. It's like, not so fast. I didn't get to make that choice. I think there's a voice in my head <laughs> that's compelling me to go further. Entered catacombs on our own, okay. Check the campaign log. Ishimaru Haruko is listed under VIPs interviewed. Ishimaru is not interviewed. Uh, otherwise, skip to set up. Dang, we could have remembered that we opened a secret passageway if we'd interviewed Haruko. Bummer, it's gonna be relevant. Okay, gather all cards from the following encounter sets. The Pallid Mask, obviously, that's the Rainbow Bridge. Got the it. Thing. Uh, then we got the Rat Head, the Weird Swizzle, and the Triangle. I think the Rat and the Swizzle are in the core set, if I'm not mistaken, and then this one is going to be in Carcosa. I like the, your descriptions of those icons. Well, yeah. The I Swizzle. I keep, it, I keep it pretty simple. And this is where it would be frustrating if you're a player at, like, you know, just coming into this for the first time, you don't know where these symbols are. I found the, the triangle on the right. Did you find the triangle? Yeah. Oh, maybe all of those are in there. Well, I think Rats is. Oh, I've got Carcosa, so I'm going to be looking for the swizzle. Mm, I'm there looking for the rats. Yeah, you should have the rats in there. Bring in the rats. And you'll eventually kind of learn all the corset cards, the different symbols that come from the corset. I really wish they would write it underneath the symbol. Like if it said, rat and then core underneath, that would be really helpful. That's not actually the rats. That's something Is else. that a different one? That's probably why. I've got the bugs. I might have some rats in here. 
there's a the rats have a tail. It's that zoomed out. Hmm. It's this one. Got it. Yeah, there you go. Or no, that's the that's the screeching. Uh, is that the ghoul? That's the, the ghoul, ghoul said in that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is ghouls. Yeah, you guys are right. All right, so we got the triangle squigglies, the ghoul. You have the swoopity swaps. I have swoop swaps. And then we have the main thing. Now there's all these locations, which isn't this crazy? This is all the catacombs. That's so cool, man. We're about to get lost in the catacombs. And then I believe the rest of these go in. We'll see what based on what you find you're the tome of shadows in the blocked passage. Each one is the revealed side of a catacombs location. So tome don't look of too closely. And blocked passage. Okay. Uh, set them aside out of play. Done. Okay. And then check the campaign long. If you awoke inside the catacombs, wow, how would we have done that? Well, if we didn't end up in Ingram's house, yeah. then we probably somehow get dropped off in these catacombs for some reason, which is cool. That's one of the things. I'm starting to appreciate why people would play this six times, mm -hmm. like this one s set of scenarios. There's a lot of different trees in this, this uh, story. Man, this, uh, reading this Ruka thing just gets me so amped. I wish we had done that. Okay, find the gate to hell. It's also the revealed side of a catacombs. <laughs> they just got right to it, didn't they? Put it into play, catacombs side face up. Catacombs face up. Okay. For the remainder of the scenario, the gate to hell is referred to as the starting location. Place a resource token on the gate to hell to mark it as the starting location. So this is where we enter. And this is the gate to hell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Set all the other locations aside as a separate catacombs deck. To do this, Shuffle the set aside Tomb of Shadows, Blocked Passage, and three other locations together to form the bottom five cards of the Catacombs deck. Okay, so say those again. Catacombs side face up. What are okay, those names? That makes sense. So this Blocked Passage and Tomb of Shadows. Okay. Grab that one and three other random Catacombs locations. All right, so I'm going to shuffle these. One, two, Three. All right, so now we'll shuffle these together. And these go away? No, those will go on the top of them. So it's basically guaranteeing the Tome of Shadows and the other the one are at the bottom. Yeah. OK, good, good, good. Then place all the other Catacombs on top in a random order. Uh, all of the cards in the Catacombs deck should be showing only the Catacombs size so the players do not know which is which. OK, did, did it. That. Each investigator begins to play at the starting location. Uh, let's let's not flip it over yet, because yep, it says there's a force thing, so we need to draw first. If you open a secret passageway, do X. Ah! We um, didn't. OK. Let's draw our opening hand and see what happens. What's up, the game? And hello, Jared Clayton. Just... Yeah, we're just getting set up right here. You haven't missed anything, uh, game. Peter Hopkins said, I went to the catacombs in Paris a couple of years ago. Nice. I found it so oppressive and almost palpable heavy atmosphere. Huh. It's a real place. Yeah. Uh, so do I shuffle these up? Yeah. Oh, we will. The bad cards? Um, shuffle the remainder. Yeah, we will. And then Werner says, uh, you'll need more space for locations. I'd put the starting location in the middle of the table. Thanks for that. Yeah, good idea. give ourselves as much space as we can. Yeah, because we're going to have to go through a lot of catacombs to get to those last four. Yeah. This feels like a, almost an exploration mechanic, like in Forgotten Age. How about we go dead center? Dead center. We can also zoom out if we need to. We might need some more room. Yeah, oh, it's, it's a, a real, real place. place. And apparently, Chris says, it hasn't been fully explored either. Like they haven't found the ends of it. That's insane. I don't like. I, I mean, I love that it's possible there are things in this world Spanner that are unexplored. Says, it's famously very real and still very unexplored. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my draw face up just so we can appreciate the decisions. The game. That's a very very uh, high compliment. We're happy to be here and happy to have you with us. Oh my gosh, that's about the ideal opening. Honestly, we're gonna need it. Okay, so they delve too deep. My play here is Rosary, Olive, Lone Wolf, and then 
I tend to pitch Ritual Candles at this point to try to get another crack at a spell. Ritual Candles kind of evens me out later on in the game, so I'm going to drop both of those. If I didn't have Lone Wolf, I would keep Ritual Candles. But Spectral, and there's Trumpet. So that might kind of change my We said six? Math. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, there's my MVP. We're playing on uh, Standard. All right, so I got doc none other than Dr. William T. Mallison. Don't you love seeing him every time? Every time. Uh, Ooh, the fingerprint kit, too. I nice. got the fingerprint kit, which seems and the important. Glyphs. It's my Ooh. evade glyph, so, uh, I mean, how enemy are we going to be here? How? I mean, how, can Steadfast you really toss Steadfast and him? Shortcut aren't really doing anything for me right now. Yeah, you don't I need am, them. Uh, Grizzly Totem's also good. You need money. I do need money, but, you know, I do need money. But I get, them from, I get them from fully exploring a high location and that one card. I, so, like, I'm probably inclined towards... I feel like the dream here is Fingerprint Kit and Glyphs. Probably. And, and honestly, Grizzly Totem's fine. I mean, your first turn is what? Probably Kit and Malison? Mm -hmm. And maybe an Explorer or an uh, Investigate? So that's easy enough to... Yeah, I just don't think I need the totem. Because I, I would play this before I played the totem. I mean, you're just, yeah, you're a far way off from getting the money. Yeah, yeah. I think that's fair. Do you have Crack the Case in the main deck? In here? Or is it in there? Mm hmm So I'd almost get rid of the glyph, too. Mm, yeah. Just because there's another one in there. How do you have six cards? Don't I draw six? No, five. Ah, well, we're going to try this again. <laughs> you can just cut the... You can just... Get rid of the last one. Whatever the last one was. I have no idea. I don't know. I'm not concerned. Why don't we do this? Just toss them aside. Toss everything that's not those. Three more. Oh, my second fingerprint kit. A little curiosity, a little perception. Ooh, nice. That's some card draw. That's a little test. Yeah, keep only assets. That's right. It, it just depends, too, though. Sometimes you'll have, like, 15 worth of assets. and Ben, yeah, yes, ben, we are in the catacombs. We are in the catacombs. OK, deck is good. I've got the trauma that I've got. And now we go to the rest of it. Uh, each of us begins play. Remember to do the forced whenever this flips. Does this happen, or does it happen first? It says specifically for us to do this during setup. All right. Is there anything on here that I need to read? Yeah, probably. The catacombs, skulls and bones, decorate the walls of the, this wide hallway in a, how do you say the name word? Macabre? Macabre. Macabre? Yeah. Fashion. And then it says in the flavor text, Aret sest ik empire de la waha. Waha. All right, uh, <laughs> two clues for investigator. <laughs> You gotta lean into that it. That is some next level French speaking, I gotta tell you. I've never I, heard anything quite as bad as that. I'm an Oklahoma boy. <laughs> Arrête. I couldn't even read till the ripe old age of eight. De la mort. I like you went <laughs> back and forth from French to country. Well, that's pretty much how I do it. Uh, so this is the gate <laughs> to hell. We've arrived. Forced, when the gate to hell is revealed, put the top two catacombs in the catacombs deck into play above and below the gate to hell. Okay. So above. And below. And below. All right. And then the bearer of the man of the pod mass searches for the deck, sets it aside out of play. OK. Easy peasy. Pallid mask man going to be out of here. <laughs> Big kahuna. Not even French, and that made my ears bleed. <laughs> Bravo, Fogo, Très Francois. <laughs> Shove the remainder of the counter deck, which we did. Let's start with the, uh, can you hit me with the agenda, please? Let's do it. Agenda 1A, Empire of the Dead. The dank, chill air of the catacombs penetrates dank. your clothes and causes you to shiver. Everywhere you look, the remains of the dead greet you, a grim reminder of your own mortality. Each location is connected to each location adjacent to it. OK, so all things are connected to adjacent things. Yep. OK. Through the catacombs, at the end of the long tunnel next to you, the stranger steps through the darkness with pale mass glinting in the candlelight. Wait, you call out. He glances your way before vanishing into the shadows. Once more, you're forced to track him down to find answers. Objective, find the man in the pod mask. He is somewhere in the catacombs. All right. Wow, we're just chasing this creepo through the catacombs. 
And here we go. And here we go. Six doom to advance. Uh, we have to find the man in the pilot mask to get to the next act. Easy peasy. Straight up now. So as is my mystic right, um, are you going to maintain your position in this in this location? I'm going to play Lone Wolf, so I want to be in a place where you are not. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is flip over the top card of my There you go. Here. Let's take a look at that. Cryptic Research, Oof. fast, draw three. What a hit. Oof, 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 Just oof. a free three cards to start the game. That is why that card is magic. Yep. Whew. Um, okay, so I'm looking at basically play a card, play a card, play Lone Wolf, or play a card, move, play Lone Wolf. Two cards or three cards. If you take the first activation next turn, then I will still get the Lone Wolf bonus. So we just need to not be in the same location at the start of my turn next turn. I can easily not be in this location next turn. And it's a one shroud, so I feel like we should gather clues while we can. Yeah, totally fair. Um, so my thinking would be build and get a clue if you can. I'll build and get a clue. We'll make sure. I'm a full build. All right, then we'll make sure you know we get whatever clues we want before we move. I need clues to charge Malison. Yep. So. OK, I'm going to start. I'll just start us off here. I'm going to play Olive. Jim's Trumpet, and Lone Wolf for all of my cash. Cash money. Put out a little protection. Wow, that's a great start. Got a little sanity heal, and then Lone Wolf for the money is. OK, so start of my th turn. Obviously, I'm going to Cryptic Research for free and fast. Draw three. It seems very appropriate you're doing Cryptic Research in the Catacombs, by the way. Let's just take a moment I, to appreciate I that. I would agree. I'm going to play. Dr. William T. Mallison. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to play a fingerprint kit. Mm-hmm. Then you're going to get those clues. What could go wrong here? This is the, this is kind of the question let's, on... Let's look at the bag card. Yeah, let's see what we got, what we're dealing right. with. The skull is minus X. X is the number of locations away from the starting locations that you are. Okay. Or zero for me. Yep. Minus th the mask is a minus three. If this token is revealed during an attack and the skill test is successful, this attack deals no damage. Didn't we? So what did we put? Did we put the hoods in? I think we put hoods in at the end of the thing. Dump let's, it out. Let's, let's see check, what we got. Check our bag here. Take a look. So yeah, we so we dumped the tablets and we added the hoods. So we've got. So a, a hood is a minus three. Shouldn't there be two hoods in there? Oh, there are. Okay, and minus three. If you're attacking, that attack, even if successful, does no damage. Oh, no. So watch out. OK, so Olive's pretty important. No here. tablets in? No tablets are in. No gas masks right. either. No gas masks. Yeah. So basically, we've got minus 3 and cancel and attack on the hoods. And then minus, for me, for every one I am away from. From the start. Yeah. From the gate to hell. So the, the, the deeper you dig, the worse the skulls get. Oh, wait, we're looking at, oh, we're on hard expert there. Oh. Minus <laughs> X is the same. Uh, hood is minus two. Uh, it deals one less damage. Oh, no OK, damage. OK. That is less. There's your difference. Between I was looking at those, and, and I was just like, whoo, this is real. <laughs> going to be some heat. OK, uh, so I'm done. And then what's your, you have one action left? Yep. I'm just going to investigate like normal. I'm not going to use my fingerprint kit. I don't think this is the time. Can you bag me? Bag on. It's a one to my four. I'm ahead by three. I'm comfortable with this. That's only, comfy. And it's not a significant. Draw skull, would you? Let me play that trumpet for you. That would be sweet, actually. Would. Minus three. So you did it. I succeed. One clue. Ka ching All right, you got a Malison clue now, too, which is notable. That is why we did it. OK, then everything readies. Mm -hmm. uh, we draw a card, gain a resource. I like this. What's my hand size? Okay, your resource. Eight. Your hand size is eight. Yeah. At the end of the, the round, you have to discard down to eight. OK. And then uh, we'll go up to one doom on the agenda. And then uh, I'll start. I'll kick us off as lead investigator right. this time. Eyes in the walls. Test three brain. I'm glad I did that instead of your measly two brain. For each point you fail by, take one horror. When assigning horror, it must be divided as evenly as possible among eligible cards. Glad I played all of it, honestly. Um, OK, three to my four. Jim actually takes this test at an OK interval. So let's play Eyes in the Walls. Do we want all of this? Good chance of seeing a skull and healing a, a sanity. I think we'll be able to see a skull here. 
I'm into the olive. But if you use her now, you can't use her during the turn, right? Yeah. That's all right. There's the skull. That's why we do it. So zero minus one, pass the test. Kneel the trumpet, heal one mental. Man, starting with that trumpet is <laughs> aces. That's why you got to play arcane research with him, I think. It's just like you may as well start with horror that you make makes your trumpet reasonable. And then your card? Corpse Dweller, discard a humanoid enemy at any location and spawn Corpse Dweller at that location. If there are no humanoid enemies in play, discard a corp, Corpse Dweller and it gains surge instead. Okay. So we're going to watch out for this. This is a five health baddie. It's a good card to get now. Yeah. Spirit's Torment. It's a curse. It's a geist. Revelation, attached to your location. Forced. After you leave attached location, you must either take a horror or lose an action. You can also spend an action to place one of your clues on the attached location to discard spirits torment. Huh. You know, I don't even know, you know? It's a good question. Do you even bother? Huh. Interesting. I mean, I feel like this gate to hell is a location we're going to visit often. So if every time we come here we yeah. have to lose an action, that's going to be just the dump worst. It. Dump it, fingerprint kit it. I can maybe grab one this turn. Uh, okay, so now it's over to the... The good stuff. We get to go do some things. Now I need you to go first so that you're not in the same location as me. And you probably want me to get rid of that. Get rid of it, fingerprint kit move. Oh wait, insight deck? Yep. Cryptic oh my research. god, can you give that to anybody? Choose an investigator location. I don't need it. If you don't I need it, I'm just saying. I'm yeah, just I'm saying. about to be your best friend. I'm about to hook <laughs> you up. You have no idea. Remember later when I have a big enemy on me and you're choosing between something fun you want to do or to come help me. I don't have any shriveling or any spells right now. I'm just so saying later, I, later when I help you set up, you just remember me. When have I don't ever not shriveled at your I know. I'm just saying once need. we get to the gates of hell, decision making <laughs> gets unclear. Whether or not you, you know, like, I mean, it, it, who knows what's going to befall <laughs> who us. Knows? We'll who knows? see if, if we're ride or die here. <laughs> this, this is where ride or die is, is defined. <laughs> Um, what, so, a, what a opening. <laughs> let's, Six free uh, cards. This is insane. Let's... If I do that, I want to do this. Yeah. Yeah. What's a clue? I mean, I, I can come back and get these. I can sweep them up at some point. This would be also another scenario. I'm so angry I didn't already put Deciphered Reality in my deck. It yep. makes me want to flip a table. You, you're never going to put it in, though. No. It's com it's the next thing I'm doing. How many experience do I have? Uh, I don't know. I think I saved a, a few. And we'll have to look at your deck. Mm. I don't have, like, how much you saved. I just have totals. So what are you going to do? First thing I'm going to do is let you draw three. Yeah. Thank With you. With cryptic research. You're, you're welcome. Right, weakness, weakness, weakness. Okay. Uh, second, first actual action is I'm going to use this. I'm going to discard it and put my clue back. Yep. Then my next action, I'm going to actually play a shortcut. It's fast. Very nice. Uh, would you rather me shoot you into a location? I can also work on these clues. I can actually, you can get, actually get these get clues. I like that a lot. So I can farm so let, there let me I shortcut. I have two actions left. I'm going to go south. And what does that say? As an initial cost for you to mm. enter catacombs, investigators are located and must spend clues. One per group. I can't even leave. So you got to get two clues. So you can fingerprint kit and then do it. All right. So my second action, we're going to fingerprint kit. Yeah. And we're going to try to get two. So that's what clues are good for. Exploring. It's a one to my five. Only one token ends it. It's a zero. It's a zero. Take your two clues. So I get two. Call me in the morning. And then I'll spend two when I play shortcut to move to enter here. We have the stone archways. No clues, too shroud. Ignore the text on unrevealed locations adjacent to stone archways. No, oh, that would have been handy. Forced when stone archways is revealed, put the topmost catacombs in the catacombs deck into play to the right of stone archways. Okay, cool. Oh, this is going to be so cool. It's so awesome. This is going to be so cool. And then cool. I ignore that text. You ignore that, so you can go there for free. So I investigated. Dropped the thing, investigated, shortcut. You got one action one left. One action left. Well... No time like the present. Yeah, let's go. Candle lit tunnels. This looks amazing. How cool. Uh, three shroud, two clues per investigator. Uh, you can take an action, test three book to read an ancient sign. If you succeed, look at the unrevealed side of any catacombs location in play. Group limit once per game. Cool. Forest, when candle lit tunnels are revealed, put the top two catacombs in the catacombs deck into play to the left and right of candle lit tunnels. So 
I know I can do right. Does it insert a space here? I think so. I mean, you got to put it to the left, right? I think that's right. Chat, correct me if we're wrong. I think that's right. It's got to be right. How else can you do it? Oh, these are the wrong cards. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want the actual categories. No, wait. They say no. No, no, no. Uh, probably just to the right. Nope. So just the right? That, that's probably the case. Just as the one that you can. OK, good. Yeah, so like if I had come down into that one, it mm -hmm. would go left and right. Mm -hmm. But because there's already a left, then this is what this okay. is. That's cool. Oh, oh my goodness. Also, man, Decipher Reality not being on my deck. Seriously. Flip devastating. Uh, table. Already devastating. OK, so now uh, all you're done. I'll take my turn. Uh, Lone Wolf Triggers gives me a money. First action, let's play a Holy Rosary. Did the three cards help? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Second action, let's investigate playing Eureka. Give me the skulls. Heal. I got four to one. Yeah. 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 It's minus two, I believe, yeah. Yep. Pass. Gain a clue. Eureka fires. Here's what I need to know without any spoilers, chat, anyone that's played the last two scenarios of this cycle. Am I going to be severely disappointed by the potential of a deciphered reality if I spend my experience on it? I think you missed that option. I think it has to be your first buy if you're going to do it. Should have been. Probably. I wanted to build to it. And that's I'd... right. If you come back, and maybe there's other investigators that might decipher reality better. Mm -hmm. Who knows? First action rosary, second action investigate. Everyone's saying no. Matt, no, or like, I won't. OK, it's worth buying. I won't be disappointed. That's All right, good. that gets me good excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, third action, we're going to investigate again with Eureka. Bag on. I'm currently at a four to its one. Double Eureka turn. Yep. We're, we're looking, we're looking for, one, cat. for one thing. All right, plus one. Not going to matter too much. Look for a skull. Looking for this shriveling I just found. There it is. Uh, yep. Yeah. Go there. Okay, and that is why, honestly, like, so this opening turn is kind of. It's really kind of the ideal. This is why I wanted to include these as my splashes. So Lone Wolf giving me two every turn, and then I, those two Eurekas just turned into a shriveling that without them I wouldn't have seen for like eight cards. And that's, you just can't do that as a mistake. You have to have some way to filter through your deck. So I'm glad it's working out for me. I'll put that in. And Peter, what's D-O-N? That'll be it. It's done. Trumpet is out, yes. It's OK. Right, right here. You probably can't see it. It might be over the picture in picture. So then that. we uh, do the stuff. Everybody ready stuff. Yeah. Everything ready is here. Draw a resource. Draw and a money. Double or nothing. People are saying if I run to Cyber Rally, you got to play double or nothing to double it. Can I play double or nothing? Yeah, I already used the trumpet, CGM. Double or nothing. Huh. OK. I think it isn't it double or nothing has a lot of taboo on it's it. It's a rogue it? skill card or something? Yeah, it is a rogue card. But I thought it wasn't it, doesn't it have much of experience now? Jim can only take. Level zero cards. I thought double or nothing got way errated, like tabooed like crazy. Yeah, it costs three XP. Oh, but it's a level zero card. Oh, OK. That's interesting. Hmm. I always assumed that I couldn't. <laughs> Peter says, AKA, the best card it's in really the game. Good. It, it just doubles. It, it breaks yeah, games, as you expect imagine, it to. Yeah. Anything that says double or free on it is suspect. Yeah. OK. Uh, so then we put a Dumon. 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 And the bad cards. You're first, Mr. Leader. A ghoul minion, just in time. Right before you get that shriveling down. That's right. Perfect. You and can just play the shriveling, take yours. the damage. The... I'm not going to waste a shriveling on that boy. I also got a ghoul minion. All right. So now we get to see if we just want to take a turn punching. Well, two yeah, to two. As you do. Because you don't want that corpse eater to come out. And... Agreed, and get they get worse. Yeah. Uh, then start of the turn, I'm going to flip my top card of my insight yep. deck. Oh no, worst timing ever. Got the ghoul, got the unsolved case. That's not good. 
Hmm. Think about how you're going to do it. Mm, I know exactly what I have to do. <laughs> I know what I have to do. I just don't know if I have the strength to do it. <laughs> OK. So now we go into the turns. So I need to go first. OK. Um, and I think what I do is I punch twice. Mm -hmm. Then I play this mm -hmm. so that it doesn't get shuffled back into my deck. And you play it, cost you two? Cost me two. I have two resources. And you have no clues. I have so no it's clues. Good time to play. So it's actually an OK time to play it. Yeah. Just don't miss those punches. I'm I'm not in a missing mood. All right, then I like that I like that plan. All right, well, there's only one danger here. <laughs> Where's my withering? Where's my withering? I can also evade. My problem with evading these things is we've seen that they turn into awful things. The main thing is I have I have a card I can commit. One of my two is going to be only at a two, or a four to a two. So I'm only two ahead. That beats. How many are you away? Two. You're two. So all the symbols are good. It's just the minus three and the minus four. Two there? minus three is a minus four and a tentacle. It's four tokens. Four out of eighteen. That's totally reasonable. Do you have practice? Practice makes perfect. But I need two to play this. Mm, practice costs one. Mm -hmm. Well, if you hit the vicious blow, you can take your second action to get money and your third action to. Uh, if. And then you've got a vicious blow in your hand. I don't know. Is that better than punching twice? This pains me. How many are on the top there? How many? I mean, you know, what are the chances? Well, they're good. That's a good question. I don't know the answer. I mean, so I can always. I can always practice makes perfect, and if I miss, then instead of punching, I will evade and play this thing and stay where he's at. But if you miss, you won't have the money, right? If you've got to practice and then evade, and then you have one left, and you can't play the, the card. Yeah. So it's, I mean, that's a gamble, and it could very well not be on the top, top nine. I mean, that's very possible. You know how I am about gambling, though. <laughs> I love it. Uh, you could also just take two swings at four, and the odds are pretty good that you hit both. Well, I'm gonna. I have a. I have a take the initiative, so I have a plus three on the first one. Hmm. Well, that's easy mode. But then, it's the second one that matters because hmm. I don't have another boost. So you can do anything you want. That's what I was saying. I can run from him. I think pretty effectively too with the take the initiative. What does this guy do? We've already seen the old corpse dweller. It's a five health. Three with Hunter and Retaliate. The only way he comes out is a humanoid enemy, which is a ghoul minion. So if we leave these ghouls out, this Corpse Dweller is going to come out and, and completely wreck us. That's my only concern. I think we need to kill these ghouls. So that's where I think, like... <sighs> Gotta kill the ghouls. I think I just take the practice makes per perfect risk. And then what happens if the unsolved case isn't solved? I get two less experience. Mm, that's a bummer. Deciphered reality, I don't know. <laughs> Anything in your hand that gives you money? No. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's a good question. You haven't seen a vicious blow yet. Mm -mm. There's two in there. There's two in the deck. I could also just punt. I could I could take my turn while you think about it. But my uh, take the initiative gets way worse if oh, you go. Oh, right. Yeah, right, yeah. That's the problem. Ah, uh, this is a tough decision that mm. I didn't expect to have to make this early. Maybe, maybe it's actually... So maybe for you it's actually evade fingerprint kit, play the event, leave with two clues. That gives you the malice option if you need it. Ghoul will re-engage you after it comes back, so it won't do damage to you. And then you have the same thing next turn, but you don't have to worry about your weakness. That's where I'm, like, I have one turn. And technically, if I evade, play, get two clues, mm -hmm. I can also Malazan if I get one of those things. Yeah, that's what, yeah. It yeah, yeah. Malazan. Um, so let's, let's do that. I'm going to evade. I'm going to put a take the initiative in, so it's at a five to a three. Only two tokens that do, the, do it bad. That's where it would get. Take the initiative with that tiny little foot stat. 
Here we go. It's a skull. skull. Minus two. two. Yeah. He's evaded. Let's we'll put him right there. Yeah. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is pay two for unsolved case. Play it, uh, and then it goes away. Very nice. And then I'm going to use a fingerprint kit. Mm -hmm. I'm at a five to three, and then I'm oh, going to... Oh, my horn. I'm going to boost it by two with a perception. Thank you, guys. We're going to make it seven to three, so there's only one token that fails me. <laughs> dude, dude. Some kind of blue. Nice it passes. Two. So I score two tokens, opening up Malice, and I also get a draw card from Perception. Very nice. And that will be my turn. I'm just going to put him here. Yeah. Even though he's not. Good job, Jim. Good job, Jim. Joe. Joe. I was just preemptively saying good job, yep. Jim, here. All right, so over to Steven. <laughs> Josh, man, the acoustics in those catacombs must be awful. <laughs> Put the horn down. I think it's probably, I think I'll probably just go on the punch. Let's do that. Let's do a punch. I'm currently a three to his two. Jim actually can do that fairly well. I get my one from Lone Wolf. And let's think about the future. Oh, wait. Oh, that was my weakness. Got it. It does exhaust. All right. Let's try just a normal punch. Let's see where that gets me. Well, that gets me a zero. That's the old gym, gym bag. Second action. Old gym bag. Let's do the ghoul minion again on the punch. Nailed it. Swooshitans. I have the live and learn in my hand, too, and it's such a good feeling. You just know literally all my off-class cards, yeah. Uh, and then third action, I think I need to... Shrivel. Well, it's cost me three, so mm. I'm going to wait. I'm not going to play anything. I could move, and that could go poorly. I don't think it will. You've, you've got a lot more gumption this time around, I feel like. I'm feeling it. I'm, I'm leaning into the Joe. The Joe Diamond vibes. OK. Let's go, then. Spin the two. Spin the two clues. OK, uh-oh. Shivering pools. After you end your turn, take one direct damage or lose five resources. OK, fine. You got me. Uh, when Shivering Pools is revealed, put the topmost into play to the right of Shivering Pools. And that's a victory one, my friend with two clues on it. That seems like a job for Deciphered Reality. <laughs> um, I could draw read yeah, the if, signs if, here. We had, if we had started knowing Deciphered Reality was in game, and then like you would put in the double or nothings up front, that would get really lit. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, That'd be a cool build. All good? All good. End of turn, draw a card, gain a resource. Your enemy readies, doesn't attack you. Um, gain the money the hard way. Draw. Here we go. Put a Doom on, get the bad cards. You're first. The pit below, attached to my location. It gets plus one shroud. At the end of the round, each investigator takes three damage at the attached location. I cannot be here at the end of my turn. You've got to move it, move it. Yeah, this thing's got a pit. Does it go away when it, or does it stay there? Um, it goes away Discard once it. it triggers, mm. yeah. So just leave. Well, actually, I, I've got an idea. It's dangerous. <laughs> My card? Mm hmm. Poltergeist cannot be damaged by, except by a spell, relic, or encounter cards. You can parlay, test three book to attempt to banish the geist. If you succeed, deal it a damage. Mm, so you're on, you're on a problem now. I am. You went the wrong direction, it mm -hmm. seems. Where are your guns? So, anyways. I mean, do you malice in that? Do you think it's worth it? You're, you've got a good parlay on that. I feel okay about it. I have no damage mm -hmm. at the moment. So here's, uh, we got some enemies now. So here's, here's the problem. There's two lines that I have here. Um, one of them is word of command, 
read the signs to get these two clues and then move to the gate of hell. And I come in on two money the next turn and then I can move. So I'm still a couple of turns away from helping. I, I, I think I'm fine. You think you're okay? So like essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to practice makes perfect here and try to vicious blow. blow. Yeah. And if he goes off the table, then I'm literally just two book testing. Mm -hmm. And like, I feel pretty good about that. And then if I fail, I end up taking two horror. So I just have to pass those book tests by the end of next round. Yeah. I'm not like okay. fretting it too much. I'm into it. I'm really I'm not into in like it. critical zone. So if you're queuing up where you could come help me the round after that, that's probably where we're doing all right. I think I'm going to start moving your direction. Plus I get this card. Ah, uh, preposterous. Love that card. Not going to play it. Uh, yep. Yeah. Probably not now. Ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, what up, Leon? Yep. I'm glad we're halfway through Dunwich. Nice. We are having a good week. I mean, technically that's not true, but technically <coughs> it is true. But technically it's not true. All things considered. All things considered, I suppose. Uh, shivering pools. Yes, I took the one direct damage from the, the pools. OK, well, let's see what my turn looks like, because I feel like it's about to, it could go poorly. The game says, I hope they keep streaming after lockdown is over. Yeah, I, I do too. Uh, we've had a really good response to our content memberships on the website. That's going to be a critical component of how much we stream after. We used to stream on Mondays uh, every week anyway. We started that with Marvel uh, back in August, Marvel Mondays. So that's definitely something I would enjoy doing, and we've talked uh, uh, about that. That's still, we'll see what reality looks like in the next couple months. But that's the goal, and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, taking my turn. Um, I'm going to pay two for word of command. Mm -hmm. I think I've read it. Yeah, there it is. OK, just kind of checking on where my spells were. All right, so I'm going to word of command for read the signs. Ben Sweeney says, keep Marvel Mondays. Jen Cass says, you can totally keep getting my 20 bucks a month for Arkham Fridays. Nice. Second action, let's play read the signs. He's reading them. So I'm testing this at a 7 to a 6. All the, you guys are awesome. I really appreciate the direct support with the content memberships and the kind words. It's awesome. We're happy to be here. Nailed it. Boom. The big old zero. So I'll take both of these. Victory one is afoot. All right, one XP. Last action, let's get out of that. That deciphered reality is becoming more of a reality <laughs> by right. the day. That's right. We want to take it. All right, mine? <laughs> yeah, all yours. Let's do it. I'm going to try to fight this ghoul minion. Practice makes perfect. Look at the top nine. Oh, top two are vicious Did you hit blow. It? Oh, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. That's such a good card, man. What a hit. All right, vicious blow. Uh, plus one fight, and if it hits, I'll deal an extra damage. These get shuffled back in. Five to two. Yeah, everything else gets shuffled. Let me see if I want to add anything from hand. You can't fail. If you don't fail this, as long as you don't fail this, you get that card. So it's really a high impact test. Five to two. There's currently two tokens in the bag. That's pretty good. So if I can modify it by even one, then I make. You take one token off. Let me just make sure. It'd have I don't, to really not matter. I don't think. Yeah, I don't have anything. So we're just going to take the chance. And it's so high impact because if I hit, it gets rid of the minion and the card goes in my hand and I can use it again to try to take out the poltergeist. Now, let's just take a second. Let's, let's just prepare ourselves for what happens if this misses. So what what would the... So if this misses, I'm trying to book him off the table. You think book twice? Yeah. Can you parlay without... You, you don't take an attack of opportunity for parlay, right? No, I don't think so. Okay. As long as it's on the, the thing you're attacking. That yeah. happened with the big baddies from uh, the party we went to. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, good luck. The odds are with you. I love that you're in the Philippines, Valentine. We're so happy to connect with you. There's a lot of comments coming through that I want to read, and I'll get to that in a minute. Are right, you ready? Yep. Yeah. Good luck, man. Got it. Got it. All right. Two damage to the minion, and then Vicious Blow goes into my hand. Man, I love that card. So good. All right. You want uh, to read some comments? Yeah, the game's asking, I've been meaning to ask you, do you do your subscriptions for international people as well as U.S.? We do offer worldwide shipping on those, but it is, it's international shipping. It costs a decent bit. Where are you from, the game? We're, we're looking into potentially offering our components and subscriptions in a couple other countries. So it's a, it's a big process, though, so we'll see even when that happens. Peter Hopkins, that's great. We got, it, got you on the data token, son. You've been here for a long time. Age of Adam saying, have you guys considered moving the content subscription over to the Patreon and adding some reward tiers? Um, that was definitely part of the conversation, but ultimately having our website lets us do a lot more. And we have some interesting things planned. Have some thoughts. Right now, it's literally just uh, gauging interest in 
you know, obviously the only thing it's doing is helping to helping allow us to do what we're doing now. Upgrade the content, got the overhead camera, streaming five days a week. Uh, but there's a whole lot of things that we want to be able to do for those people, and we're exploring that now, but we're just not ready to, to move on any of it. So there's a lot more we can actually do having it on the website than having it on Patreon, and then Patreon gets a, a cut, plus it's limited to their platform, and we can't integrate it into our website, and all sorts of stuff. A lot of people say, and bring our products to Europe. We're, we're, you'd be surprised at how much we're working on that. <laughs> hey, no worries, in Trickster. Happy to have you here. All right, you ready? Yeah. Wait, what are you doing? Uh, I don't know yet. You can try the vicious blow. So you'd beat a vicious blow at a plus two test, which is all the symbols. So it's basically action economy, right? Yeah, because then you can finger prick hit a final time for those it, last my, two My players. books only one ahead anyway without contributing cards. So yeah. I, I may as well try the vicious blow first. Right, because then you're five to three. Mm-hmm. OK. Which is good. Yeah. So we're going to try a vicious blow. Oh, wait, hold on. This is important. Oh, by Pol spell. They're Polter guys, I forgot. Yeah, yeah you can't so I, I got a parlay. That's cool. Yeah. So let's parlay here first. I'm going to use Curiosity. I have seven cards in hand. So yeah, it gives me good. plus four book. Plus, so yep. one, two, three, four. Well, that's instead, yeah. Three. So, three okay, yeah. so I'm at a seven, two, three. So I'm ahead by four. Feels, feels all right. That's a solid test. Nicely done. Superstar, I can move an insight from my event uh, discard pile to my deck. Like a cryptic research? Yeah, definitely a cryptic <laughs> research, yeah. The zero cost fast thing, and I'm about to shuffle this deck. Superstar. Uh, so we parlay, we deal one damage. And then we're going to parlay again. And now, for my next trick, we're going to, I'm at four to three. I want to be up by at least three. Um, archaic glyphs. And those glyphs haven't done anything for you, really, have they? No. Big waste of experience. Could have been a decipher reality, that's all I'm saying. Um, just kidding. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's fine. Now, see, this is, this is kind of the point that I was making. Once you run out of that fingerprint kit, wouldn't it be nice to play a two cost archaic glyphs that's basically as good or better than a fingerprint kit? Yes. It's like, I think maybe we should swap those in for the evade ones and not tell anybody. Or for the, uh, and just, uh, you yeah. know, basically I played with blank cards for a couple of games. <laughs> um, now I do have another fingerprint kit. It's just so expensive. Yeah, it is. The so, money's your biggest problem in this deck. I'm basically deciding between uh, adding another archaic glyphs or fingerprint kit to the stack. Hmm. And I think the reality is, like, I'm not going to get to play a fingerprint kit. It's hard to find the money. But the archaic glyphs are going to help you. And I haven't clues. seen my like free clue stuff. Yeah. So like I'm I, I'm going to just put the other finger. All right. In. Uh, you went for it. So I'm at six to three. Head by three. Let's see what happens. Stephen Collins, Black Widow was just delivered. Now I have to wait 1.5 hours to get home from work. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> nice. It's a zero. Nailed it. Poltergeist out. Is it blurry? I can fix that. Should okay. Be. Let me think about this. So I practice makes perfect, and then I parlayed twice. Parlay twice. Yeah, nailed it. Give me just a second. OK. Oh, uh, yeah. We're a little backwards there. Yeah, damn, Jim, we're, we're working on it, if Steven didn't already say it. That should be better, yeah? It's hard for us to that monitor is a little off. All right, so that was the end of the turn. End of the now turn. Now we get our card and our money. At the end of the turn, discard the pit below. Card and money. I like that card. Oh my gosh, what a great time to get Uncaged the Soul. I I, I was a little out of uh, out of love with that card. And then it's just money. Every I mean, time. a free shriveling right now is yep. just unbelievable. Okay, uh, then we flip everything over. Yep. Flip everything over, a card and a resource. We get a doom. Get a doom. And then we get our bad card. You first. Bad card. Starting with me. The pit below. Not bad, not bad. The pit's following you. Yeah, it is. I feel like Jim's calling it. He's playing into it. And I got the shadow behind you. Revelation, put the shadow behind you into play in your threat area. Limit one per investigator. Take an action. You look behind you. Forced, at the end of your turn, if you do not perform the above ability, you must either discard all of your resources or discard all of the cards in your hand. 
and then discard the shadow behind you. So do you have to take a turn where you don't look behind you to get rid of it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, how cool is that mechanic? Spend all your money and then do it. Discard all your resources. What are my resources? Your money. Oh. Yeah, money. The one. You have one resource right now. So if I had none, it just goes away. You must either discard all of your resources or discard all cards. Now, there's something weird about, like, you have to change the game state, so maybe you have to discard at least one money for mm. it to matter. I don't know if that's true in Arkham. You guys, do you guys know that? You, yeah, somebody Cut, out there knows Cut the Cut Zombie answer. says, since it says must, you can't choose something you have none of. Yeah. You must change the game yeah, state. Yeah, there goes okay. the game state change. So if you have one money, you just dump it. Money, money. Or I, I'm definitely not looking Or just behind look behind me. you forever. Hmm. <laughs> Not doing that it's one. It's quite funny. Okay, so we're back to our turn. Big Kahuna says that's the best encounter card in the entire game. Yeah, it really is. Um, so my turn's going to be shrivel, move, move. So I can either go shrivel, move, move, and keep our little separate. Uh, yeah, because I, I don't need you anymore. <laughs> yeah, we'll find out. Like at the, at but the, like once we get so far apart, we also might get connected again. We might get connected. That's right. So you want to see if we connect? OK. Well, let me shuffle this up and see what I get first. Yeah. If you have no cards and no resources, you get to get rid of it for free, though. Yep, that is true. Well, if you have no cards and no resources, what you doing? Yeah, technically, that's the, Joshua, I have the same question to you. Technically, changing the game state would be getting this card off the board. So. Oh my gosh, a cryptic research. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. There is a Cthulhu. Okay, I'm going here. All right, get it. Uh, first action, uncage the soul for level five shriveling. <laughs> Bo it's free. Frizzy. That's a three money card? My goodness. I yeah, would... and, and you get to play a card as an action, right? I would die. So much it. better. It's like emergency cash plus an action, plus a card. It's so good. Uh, I have converted second and third here. Two clues yeah, to get Josh, in Joshua says, I thought discarding the card itself was enough to change the game state. But I might be wrong. OK. Ooh, look at this. I think we just connected. So four clues on. Wait, let's read it. Labyrinth I've been doing a bad job. They all say the oh, same thing. Oh, they all say the same thing, right? Labyrinth of Bones. Did you pay two clues to do that? I did. Yeah, I had them from the read nice. the signs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a pillar of bones dominates the center of this circular chamber. Several dark passages lead in multiple directions. Labyrinth of Bones looks incredible. Put the top three. Above, below, and to the right. Boom. We are connected. Above, below, and to the right. Look at this. Woo! We're in the caverns now. I love it. I like I kind of like them all being super close and more or less hard to hard to understand. Mm. Northern Light says it's then discard. So you have to change the game state before the then mm -hmm. can happen. That makes sense. That makes sense. Big Kahuna says, so lucky. A lot of times people go down different paths and never connect again. <laughs> I could see that happening. I think because you were above me, like the odds of one of us connecting. Reasonable. You'd have to stretch out Reasonable. That, that direction, which it could. Reasonable. OK, that's me. So shriveling move, move. All right, first and thing. And now I'm pretty safe on future turns. First thing I'm going to do is play Cry Cryptic Research for three cards. How about that? Honestly, you could have all Arkham maps do this exact thing, and you could just build that for the rest of the game's history, and it would be fascinatingly good. And then we might have to, we might just have to zoom this camera out, guys. It's going to be a, a, a dungeon to remember. Uh, if I do this. Uh-oh, you're doing some serious math in your head. And then I do. Oh, because you just cryptic researched. Yeah. Are you going to get those clues and then play crack the case? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then I'm going to play something and have one money to get rid of the shadow. <laughs> All right, here's what we're going to do. Let's investigate. Oh, I need my... Uh, do I even use that? My anymore? lone wolf. Yeah. Lone With wolf. a deduction. Yes. And we're going to add, I'm at what, five to three. We need a little more. You know what I mean? I do. Once you get a deduction in, you really need that to work. Now, if you crack the case, you can't shadow behind you. Why? You lose all your money. 
to get rid of it. Well, no. If I get the clues, get the three money, spend three money, and have one money yes, left, then that is correct. It. Now you're now you're in. Let's think. How you do you? feel like you're in the catacombs, don't you? For sure. Yeah. Fascinating. Let's just do it. Yep. Ooh. Inquiring mind. Yeah. So I'm at yes. a eight to three. Only one token can fail me. We don't need to know what it is. Don't fail me now. Hey, remember, don't say uh, hamburger. Don't say hamburger or hamster. How many cards left in the catacombs deck? Good question. About five? Five? We're almost there. Now we get to the, the magic. It's minus three, a good test, man. Two clues, uh, but wait a second. <laughs> Let's crack that case. Yes. Get three money. I have two actions left. It's called compression. Compression. Imagine how many actions you really just saved just then. One extra investigate, three turns gaining money, or three actions gaining money. It's unreal. It's a lot. Uh, so the f first action will be playing a grizzly totem. Nice. Second action, rather. Yeah, second action. Then the last action will be paying two clues to move. Nice. Bold. I'm going to come towards you. OK. Yeah. I think that's totally fair. Uh, candlelit tunnels. When candlelit tunnels are revealed, put the two up top and to play left and right. So okay. it'll just be so to the one right. to the right. So big We're old, just building the block. Big old block. And four more clues. And then you can read the ancient signs to look at an unrevealed side. Nobody wastes time on that. Let's just roll into it blindly. And then that's the end of the turn. So at the end of my turn, uh, if I didn't look behind me, I must either lose all my cards or all my money. I'll lose my money, and it'll go away. And everybody readies? Yep. Draw a card, gain a resource. Nice. And then uh, this pit below goes away. Five Dumon out of six. Dumon. The bad cards, starting with me. Obscuring Fog, plus two Shroud at my location. Investigate to get rid of it. So it's currently a four. Stephen Collins says, I think it's time for Delve Too Deep, Stephen. It's about time. Yeah, this is a little too too lazy, lackadaisical. Someone, uh, Chris says, I uh, know. Kylie says, quick, play Mystic Cards at Doom. <laughs> yeah, right, now's the time. For now sure. is the time. OK, back cards, you already did yours? I did mine. You keep getting all these things that attach and don't really affect you. I've got a fog. Ah, grasping hands, revelation, test three foot. For each point I fail by, I take a damage. Yeah, you're about to take some damage. I hate to I tell you. I don't think so. Joe doesn't take damage. Remember, you got the totem, too. You're about to do a good test, probably. Assuming you want to waste it on this test. Waste it, I mean, is. I have some things. Just depends. Let's, uh, let's do it. I'm going to commit a grizzly totem. Well, grizzly totem to a plus one. It's four to three. I'm at least ahead by one. It's kind of cool that that's a foot. I didn't realize the totem was a foot. Makes me fast for some Buff. reason. Yeah. Here we go. Four to three. I lose okay. by one. And we'll put it over on Dr. T. Mallison. That's one damage. Yeah, nice. Easy. Just some exploring, some catacombs. Just some light exploring of the gate of hell. <laughs> that's right. Nothing or they get to see here. Yeah. Nothing to yeah. see yeah. here. Um, and then it's us. Mm -hmm. I flip my inside deck. Yep. Preposterous. Preposterous. Yeah, nice. Just... That's a good. So I would like to go first because I have a card that gets way worse if I don't. Yeah. Take the initiative. Yeah. I don't know. How to use it though. What's my goal here? Well, we need to keep getting. So I've slowed down on my ability to get clues. I had one big read the signs ability, and I, I've used it. So we're going to need you to explore, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to. I think we pretty much connect, and I protect you. Is how this goes. I think we can do this, right? And this goes. Let's just move up this over here. here. Yeah, you can move it over there. Because um, it's going to keep going this way. Yeah, is the sentiment? Just do it here. It'll be up top. Well. Keep moving? I don't, you know, I don't yeah, know. I don't need to go first, because I don't think I'm going to take the initiative this turn. I don't need it. OK, let me think about what I do. Because I really, it's a four shroud, a three shroud. There's nowhere where I can pretty easily investigate. And I I've mean, got all the fighting and casting the rock in my hand. What if I just move? I go first and I move here, because I already have two clues. Yeah, I'm into that. And if it's a good place for you to be, you can meet me. 
I can also, I can move here and take some cracks at a three shroud. It'd be a zero, zero out that test. So, right. so I'll go terrible. first. Uh, first thing I'm actually going to do is preposterous sketches. Yeah. Let's just see what we're working with here. Man, I love that card. Oh, wow. Two treachery cards. Yeah, Josh, the book is broken. Sorry. <laughs> All right. First, I hit this. I hit these first. So treachery, and it was like this. Are yeah. you treachery, huh? Yeah. Uh, Lost soul. Check the campaign log. If I have more conviction than doubt, test brain. You do. So I test brain. There should take the initiative. Yeah. <laughs> um, Plus two, that's not bad. Yeah, so I'll test four to four. No, that's bad. I'll just take it. What happens if you uh... take two damage? Okay. That's all you got to deal with? Just damage? Didn't you take one from that test? Oh, Malison took it. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I failed. Woo. Take two damage. She didn't waste a card on it. Yep. And then this goes in my discard pile. Uh, then I keep drawing, and mm -hmm. then I get amnesia. Oh, wow. She's in discard all but one. Well, hey, you got them all out of the way, right? Yeah. And then I draw my third card. That's so bad. What? We are really good at getting the weaknesses that just wreck our Yeah, Amnesia is so bad for my, my whole yeah. plan. No big hand, uh, Jim. So the second or action, Joe. let's go ahead and just go here into the Labyrinth of Bones. Once Another real, one? Put the three catacombs into play above, below, and to the right. So What's another right? come to the right. And it's a two shroud, so that'll be nice for you if you want to. I'm going to start there. making my way downtown. Yeah. Making my way downtown. It's down south, technically. Yeah. Uh, so I played a card, moved, and these get spent. Where's that man in the pallid mask? Oh, probably one of those ones that we're supposed to look at. And then I think I'm just going to fingerprint kit to grab two clues and keep diving. Yeah. Fingerprint kit. I would. I'm at a five. How to two is a good to test. two. Nailed it. Going to put a cryptic, yeah, a cryptic back cryptic on the bottom. research is back in, man. You're about to draw it, too. Well, I won't shuffle. Yeah, he was a set aside at the beginning, cut of the zombie. Wow. Nice. Two oh, clues. Two clues. And you keep the it's going. your turn. All right. I'll start my turn, getting one money from Lone Wolf. Um, Sanjuro says, making my way downtown, discovering clues, looking around. Let's do Recall the Future. Don't you remember the future? To keep the build going here, keep keep it humming. So it's my first action. Um, move, move. Move here. Probably move here. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna it. keep going. And right. like move, move. Essentially, if we get bad guys now, you're in a position to a real good position yeah. to help me out. All right, draw a card, gain a resource. Wrong, wrong guy. <clears throat> I can't even explain how hard we're going to delve too deep because I just drew it, and it's happening. Not now. But at some point in this scenario? It's about to advance, so I'm glad we're together when this thing advances. All right. The Doom advances. We're going to Agenda 2A in a second, but for now, the backside. Oh, my, what in the world? <laughs> Specter of Death, a force from beyond. It's a monster. It's a geist. Spawn the starting location. It's got, okay. it's got Hunter. Retaliate. While Specter of death, death is exhausted, takes one less damage from each attack made against it. After you fail the skill test while attempting to evade Specter of Death, it attacks you. We're not evading Specter of Death. We've got to run. Ten damage. This so map I, is actually bad for us because of that. We can totally wreck this thing. So I've got, I've got nine damage in one turn on it. Victory two. Yeah, we got to kill Let's it. Let's do this thing. Yeah, we got to kill it. It'll it'll keep coming our way, so we'll just let it keep yep. coming. Agenda 2A, Empire of the Undead. All around you, the eyes of skulls glow with an otherworldly hue. What a place to be with the big uh, thing of skulls. Oh, here. that's true. They were, they were not wrong. A ghostly voice echoes throughout the labyrinth catacombs. You sense a threatening presence looming around you. It's just outside of your vision, past the dim fog that permeates through the catacombs. Around every corner, each location is connected to each other adjacent location. Twelve. Twelve, okay, advanced. so we can explore for a little while. Okay. But this is the end. Yeah, it is the end. We got 12 turns if, if nothing weird happens uh, to get through the catacombs. Okay. Let me do the bad cards. You're first. 
Eyes in the walls. Test three for each point you fail. Take a horror. Um, I've currently got five because of the rosary. I'll take that test. We're going to call recall the future on the minus three. Currently two up. Nailed it. I get my bad card. Ghoul minion. Ooh, Thank yeah. Thank goodness we're hanging out. Yeah. All right. Uh, start of the turn, I'm going to flip this top insight card. Yep. Extensive research. Ooh, that's good. How many cards you got, though? None. Right? Three. Three cards in hand? Hmm. Hmm. Because I drew one after I hit my second weakness, and then I drew one for the turn. Okay. But it still cost me five. Can you nuke this guy? Yeah, I think I'm going to do it in a boring way, though. I don't want to waste a shriveling. I know that Spectre Death's on the way. Yep, I get it. So I don't want to mess that up too much. Okay. Yeah, this is probably right. Probably do the Razor. If it's not elite, yeah. Let's do the Razor here. So pay two for Spectral Razor. So I'm going to add my brain to my fight. So that's at a an eight. Wow. To his two, and it's going to do plus one damage. Just don't miss. Technically plus two damage. Uh, we're going to all of it, so we're going to make sure we don't miss. Yeah, and if you get a hood, it's minus one damage if you resolve the hood. Just be aware of that. Yeah, that is worth noting. Technically, it does three damage anyway. We're so good. there's no way to, to screw it up. Too, um, too big to fail, unless you get two hoods. Let's see. If I Three get a hoods. minus four tentacle and something else. So I'll call minus four and recall the future. Werner, draw, draw is not. I would. I have three cards, so I'd be at five. This would cost me three, and I only have two resources. Okay. So I could recall the future and make this a minus two, or I could not tap it and just take the minus four. So I'm currently at an eight to two. So 8 minus 4 is 4. That's greater than 2. So I'll take these and Tank not clear. tap Recall the Future. With Razor, this would engage you, but you take it out. Yep. So we're good. All right, first action complete. Now, I can probably just go Clue Clue Yep. and call it a day. I think that's good, because right. he's still a turn away. Yep. And I'll probably move one, delve one deeper to try to get some more locations out. Did somebody say delve too deep? It's the hot button word. <laughs> uh, first action. Second action. Second action, right? Uh, investigate two to a three. Recall the future on the minus two. Oof. Miss. Oof. Last action, same idea. <laughs> Josh says the password is delve. <laughs> there he is. One. He's got a clue. I got a clue. All right, over to you. All right, first action. We're gonna, we're gonna go. Keep, keep looking. Joe, Joe's gonna go. Go, Joe, go. Narrow shaft. Forced when you would move from the narrow shaft to an unrevealed location, test three foot. If you fail, take one damage and cancel the effect of the move. Forced when narrow shaft is revealed, put the topmost catacombs in the catacombs deck into play above or to the right of narrow shaft. So I'm gonna go here so above, it connects. Yeah. yeah. It's Ooh, also that's got a victory, victory man. one. Now, you're still holding Take the Initiative, right? No, it's gone. Mm -hmm. Give me those two clues over there. So I've got two actions left. Sounds like two clues to me. That opens up Malison, it gives you a move. Do you have deduction still? No. Practice? My idea of practice makes perfect. Ooh, woo! Now we're getting somewhere. Which I do like. Now you could also, whatever you need, whatever the best, is there a practiced card that would give you extra foot? Because you are you have the chance to be stuck in that narrow shaft essentially forever. Uh, yes, I do. How many locations are left in the deck? We have two locations. So that could be the location. That could, this could be the final or something that it's we need. It's the final. So, and actually, Think through your turn. I'm going to go uh, hit the evil boys' room. So it has to be either this one or these two, because this is the f other of the four. Right. You right. You right. Uh, 
Doing all right, Bryce? All right. I, I saw your face pop in and thumbs up. Shout out to Bryce at home watching uh, and pulling those cards up, making them pop. He's waving hi to everyone on the stream. Hmm. I'm just looking at my practice cards that would add to this test. We really got to start making me go first in case I hit a take the initiative. Uh, yeah, Olive McBride Gordy is the one letting Steven pull multiple tokens. Uh, Narrow Shaft doesn't make you lose clues, it doesn't look like. Sanjiro says, Bryce! Uh, Dane, uh, it's a dark magic on how he's getting the images up there. It's a big system Jonathan built, and he's able to basically listen and key in cards and make them pop when it makes sense. Uh, so, narrow shaft's a problem a little yeah. bit. I think the smart thing for me to actually do here, I need more cards. Mm -hmm. So instead of investigating now, Next round, I basically want to get foot cards so that I can... Well, you can also extensive research. Well, I don't have the... You can't draw, draw up. research. Yeah, no, it's too expensive. I, I'm one, I was one off. Ah. Um, so I moved, and I think now it's literally just draw, draw. Because even now, it's like you can grab this clue and move. We have turns. Mm -hmm. And then I just need to be able to get out of here by the time he's coming down the pipe. Yeah. And, and I'm not going to be able to if I don't have the clues and also the foot. Yeah, you don't want to be stuck there. Yeah. Yeah. So first thing I'm going to do is draw. Okay. Good card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking. So shortcut is a fast plan during turn. Choose investigator your location. Move that investigator. I assume that counts is when you would move from narrow shaft. What does it say? Shortcut. Yeah, when you would move to an unrevealed. It doesn't get me around it. Now, if you, you can come, you can come back to Labyrinth of Bones without taking the test. It's only unrevealed locations. That's something to keep in mind, right? Oh, so we could loop around here. Yeah, we could loop around. That's really good. But you got to get those clues. <laughs> so I think we need that victory. Basically, I'm going to practice makes perfect here. I like that. Deduction it. If I get them, then I can fast move a shortcut back to you. Nice. And then next round, we can go up, up yep. that direction. Yep. So let's practice I'm makes perfect. That. I'm into that. I'm into that. Looking at the top nine. So you're performing the investigate. Mm -hmm. You can't miss. It's your last nine. There's one. That was one? There's one left here. You drew nine just then? Yeah. Is deduction in there? Yes. OK. But so <laughs> is. Uh, perception, and I, it's a time for choosing. Oh, that is a good time for choosing. But I think it's got to be deduction. I would do deduction, yeah. yeah. It's going to be so good throughout this. Deduction. Get it back in hand. We'll go plus one with deduction. So then now I'm at six, six to two. That's six exactly two. where I want to be. One, one thing that we don't think we about. We haven't seen it around. I know. It's been a really fortunate bag, so this is kind of where we're just Last game we hit a lot, though. I'll say that much. This is where we're going to get it. Stay out of Malibu, bag. Stay out of Malibu, about Dead beat. All right, here we go. Oh, it's minus a minus one. one. It's a minus one. Clear the clues. This bounces to hand, because practice makes perfect is a glorious card. What a card. And then... So you did move, draw, practice investigate, makes perfect, investigate. And then shortcut. And shortcut back. And we'll come back. Right on. Went... Good scored job. a point out of the narrow shaft, and then here we are. Yeah, you're like, that, ah, there's that was actually like there. a really great turn. Okay, um, hunters hunt. Woo. Hunters gonna hunt. Specter of death coming at us. Everything readies. Everything readies. Hope there's not a like move the nearest enemy towards you and it makes an attack. It's right. Even if that happened, you know what? It'd be okay. We, we're all right. I feel a little too confident right now. Brownlow says, wow, this map really landed nicely. Draw, gain a resource. Zach, yeah, a lot of times one of us will specialize in clues and the other will do da enemy to the, ah, damage to the enemy. That was, that was a tough sentence. That was awesome, yeah. Uh, and then in it, basically a lot of times you want to be okay at the other thing. You, you really, if you're just bad, that means you can't separate, especially two <laughs> if players. If you're just bad, yeah, don't like, be bad. If you're just bad at one of the core elements of the, the game, um, 
sometimes you just have to be able to do it. Like incapably bad. Yeah. Like I can still get clues reasonably. Okay. You can still fight reasonably. But these two investigators are built for that because I've got a three book and you've got a four fight. So it's a nice nice team. All right. Doom? Uh, Doom on. Doom town. And then I'll start with a card here. It's a poltergeist. Cannot be damaged except by spells. I do have those. You're the man for the job. Um, and then we can also test three. What about you? Grasping hands, test three foot for each point I feel Ugh. like. Take a damage. Get out of these foot tests. I've got one for you here. There's Lone uh, Wolf. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't need that. Never Two. will. I'm up by one. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm ahead by one. I have nothing to commit to it. I just have to take it. What'd you commit? Wait, does this? Uh, you have a card. Yeah, yeah. I'm ahead by one, so I take a damage. Okay. Mm it's okay. it's okay. Easy peasy. There's like much worse cards that that could be. Otherwise, Malison looks real nice right there. Yeah. All right. Uh, then start of the turn, I'm going to flip the inside deck over. Yes. No stone unturned. Choose an investigator your location. Mm -hmm. That investigator searches the top six of his or her deck and puts a card in hand. Is there I think, anything you need? I mean, I just need cards. I need a body of work. I like that other, the instigate. Is there anything I the, need? Like draw a card when I succeed card. That might, huh? Is there anything specifically you need? Well, I'm thinking about how to just wreck this poltergeist. Like another spectral razor here would be really good. I think I have another spectral razor in this. Well, deck. we're not planning on facing him this next round, right? The specter of death. I'm planning on moving north. Yeah, I'm into that. But I do have this Polter guy, so basically I'm trying to figure out mm. if, if I can draw, get one card that basically saves me an action rather than having, I don't want to waste a shriveling charge on this. And I do have a Storm of Spirits, so that that's an easy play here. Um, it's just not quite the right time for it, but it's, you know, it is what it is, as they say. Well... Do you want to, you can grab this clue and run? Well, my first thing would be look at the top six and get a card. And then I'd probably grab a clue and then I'd move up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've got, I've got an answer to the poltergeist. I'll probably storm the spirits it. If there's a card that like really changes the map though, I, I'm just buffering, really. Yeah. And in fact, yeah, I think that's what I do. Go for it. All right. Show me the money. No stone unturned. <sighs> so good. <laughs> All these cards are great. It's a, No stone unturned is so much better when you don't have to play it from hand. I mean, it's like yeah. rather than trading a card for a card, you gain a card, any one you want. This comically large Nalgene is brought to you by Nalgene Enterprises. HTPE. I'm going to put Perception in my hand. Hmm. Nothing like drawing a card to draw a card, right? That's right. <laughs> and then we're just, we're going to travel together, right? Up here. Yep. Over. And th uh, maybe that's the location. I'll tell you what, man. You might leave that clue for me. Because I need yep. a clue to be able to explore. Let's uh, explore Bonefield Cavern. While you're investigating Bonefield Cavern, you have one fewer hand slot. Hmm, finger gets gone anyway. Oh, I got it. Uh, Force from Bonefield Cavern is revealed. Put the top two catacombs in the deck into play below and to the right. So nothing Dang. happens. But it comes in with four clues. And it's victory one, man. Oh, we're going to clear it out. Wah, wah, wah. You guys feel that desire for the reality approaching? It's happening. Uh, one action left. Let's do it. I'm going to... I'm going I'm to... Gonna. Yeah, Ben, I don't know. Somebody get Nalgene on the horn. That's right. Sponsor dollars. Let's get a Covenant water bottle. Stay I'm hydrated, four, everybody. The three. You take him to the tournament there. Let's uh, Perception at plus one. We're going to be seven to three. Head by four. Yep. Not worried. Not worried. Not worried. Minus two. Hood. Minus two. So I get a clue. 
get a card. Away, and I draw a card. And then that's going to be great next round. <laughs> no stone, move, investigate. Is that your turn? Mm -hmm. All right, over to me. Let's go first action, investigate. Spanner. We call this location the magnifying glass killer. It's nice. That's very funny. Uh, we'll go minus two on recall the future. I see you out there saying you buy a water bottle, and then he said, well, what about a chalice? Nailed minus it. Minus one says yes. Look at him go. Oh, wait. Are you doing dealing with him first? Oh, right, right, right. Oops. I'm going to keep that test, though. <laughs> Technically, first action. Let's do the uh, uncage the soul for storm of spirits for two damage. Wait, can I? Yeah. Wait, no. I think that causes an op opportunity attack. I think it will cause an opportunity attack. Yeah, because it's not a fight action. Hold on. Flip, drop, and reverse it. Yeah. All right, I'm going to reverse everything here. OK. All right, so Poltergeist, forgot about you. We need to deal with you. Man. Hmm. Poltergeist, you're annoying. Hmm. I can't take that. I don't want to take that sanity damage. Mm, do you waste a shriveling here, really? I mean, can't you do the... Oh, no, you can't. Not really, no. I think I have to waste the shriveling. I don't parlay at three three to a three test. Waste the shriveling. Hope I don't need it. Now, yeah, that's bad. Oh, I guess I activate. I do get a lone wolf money, so I can cast the Storm of Spirits. Straight up. Straight up. That's the right call. OK, let's do that. First action, Storm of Spirits. Cuddly, he's wanting to save the charges for the Spectre of Death. Yeah. Because we want those two points. And then we <laughs> want to delve too deep. We're going to Olive at eight. Eight to three. And we'll do um, Recall on the minus four. It's already happened. Mm. So we'll take... Skull minus one. Yeah, that's the only thing we can do. And then I will take one damage because I stormed myself. Poltergeist gone. And I'll heal with the trumpet, but my sanity is totally clean and clear right now. So that's nice. <clears throat> then second action, we'll call minus two and we'll attempt to investigate. I believe. Yeah, because um, the problem is if I if I use a charge and I hit a tentacle, the game gets a lot worse. <laughs> I want to have an extra charge just in case. Uh, minus two on the recall. How about a plus one? And then we're moving, yeah? Yep. Come we hang were out. Moving. We were swinging. This might be the next turn I, I deal with the specter. All right. OK. End of the round? End of the round. Hunter's going to hunt? Hunter's going to hunt. In fact, actually, why don't we have him hunt here? OK. In case we want to. This is a bad location to be at, right? Because of that attachment? Is that the obscuring fog? It's just yeah. a shroud. Mm. Doesn't matter. All right, so ready everything. Then getting a card and a, uh oh. Smells like a weakness Lost to me. Lost soul. More conviction than doubt. Test X brain against my book. If I fail, take two damage. That's actually a good test for me. If you need any cards, I might have one. Five brain to three. I'm two up. If you have I think uncage here just gets tossed into the thing. You don't, unless there's cards you absolutely just don't need. I should probably keep because I have yeah. two of the get two free clues cards in my. Yeah. Back here. I'm gonna drop uncage there. Because I'm gonna have I get the money and a resource. I've got I've got what I need. 
Okay, Uncage gets dropped in. Can you, can four you up. Uh, boop, boop with your trumpet to someone next in the location next to you? Yes. What is it? Heal? Heals sanity damage. Hmm. I We're, have none. This is one of those high flying Tomb Raider adventures. And... All right, so this is two damage on the line. I'm at plus four. Got it. There's not experience on either of these. It's gone. And then your bad card? Oh, no, wait, that was that was the weakness. Yep. That's right. Now I got a money. bad card. You got a money and a card? Yep. All right, do on. Do on. And then I'll start with this bad card. The shadow behind me. Hmm. You got one money. It's a good spot I to get it. got one money. And I get a corpse dweller. No humanoids, though, right? No humanoids, yeah. It's gone. Catacombs docent. Spawn nearest unrevealed location. Uh, parlay test for book to interpret the guide's ravings. If you succeed, look at the unrevealed side of any catacombs location in play. Uh, otherwise, he's just a dude we have to deal with. Hmm. He's just a guy. The catacombs doesn't. Look at the owner of any catacombs location. Why would we ever do that? So, like, if there were, like, three or four out and we needed to find the one, mm -hmm. then you could figure out which one it is before you actually commit to going Start there. Start moving to it, yeah. Inside deck? Yeah. Preposterous sketches. Nice. You're which on is a, just a draw three. Yeah, and you're on a clue, too. Okay. So this is hilarious, actually. Like, he just engages you and then annoys you with sanity damage. That's quite funny to me. Do you need money for anything? Not currently. OK, great. No. I mean, I think I'm going to clear this and move and engage path. Or you want to hang out and deal with him. Slash, do you need me to be there to do that? No, I think I can take him on my own. I just have to do it quickly, smartly. You say you can give me money? Potentially. How much money can you give me? Well, some Crack denomination of three, yeah. Actually, if you gave me two, uh, that would be phenomenal. OK. Well, let's do this. Uh, preposterous sketches to draw three. Holy mackerel. You're going to get three clues off of there. Hmm. Oh, that makes sense, yeah, that, that you would get the docents out, and then they would explode into the, the corpse stuff, because they go all over the map where you can't, like, immediately destroy them. Mm. That's fascinating. Man, this could really go sideways if you, if you shuffle it wrong. All right, let's investigate with a deduction, mm. and we will add a, because I'm at, what, five to three? You got that totem, too. Yeah. Technically six to three. I'm just, I need to use some this cards. This is, doesn't this, in a way that doesn't go away, that's right. Let's add curiosity. Oof. So I'm at one, two, three, four. You don't have to trigger the totem eight. if you don't want to. I don't want to. Eight to three. Nailed it. Got it. What do you got? So we one, take two. Three, that's minus three, yeah. Yep. Um, and then this goes away. And then I will investigate again. Let's think about this. Take care, Kirsten Ned on Twitch. Catch you on the replay. Do you have any uh, books you want to contribute? I don't. All right. How badly is that needed? I, I'm, I can fail this. Nothing for the totem? I got nothing left. Woo! We get two shots at it. Add a minus one. Uh, wasn't the preposterous was your first action, yeah? Preposterous and then investigate. So this is your last action. Mm -hmm. Don't fail. Don't fail me now. Don't fail. Here we go. Yeah. What do you got? Two up? One up. Yikes. Ready? Yeah. Ooh, Auto fail. Good time All right, for it, that's honestly. fine. Good that's fine. I can't give you money, but there we are. Mm-hmm. Okay. But man, I'm also not in a bad position to punch him. This guy. Maybe that's what I should have done. He has two health. This who? Dark. 
Are you oh, not this guy? Oh, you're not engaged with anybody. You're good. All right, so I think it's time to work on the specter of death here. Um, five of seven is not really where I want to be. I need that cat, really, is what I need. This is the entrance for people asking. Mm -hmm. The old black cat? Mm -hmm. That's probably a card that you could have really used on that draw. Oh, yeah, that's true. Now we know. I needed one more money. I needed one money. I was trying. Now I can. Now you can crack the case if I grab that clue, right? It's mm. kind of the. Yeah, if you can get it. That's not. Ah, it doesn't work anymore. All right. So what's the plan here? The specter needs to go. It attacks you, it's exhausted, it takes one less damage. Hunter and retaliate. So retaliate's kind of a bummer. It might just be move, shrivel, shrivel, take four, shrivel, shrivel. Be done with it. I like it. And if you fail and need two extra damage, I can pop in and try to do it. Yeah. I really need something better on the damage. <clears throat> Move attack of eight is not bad, but it's a I'm a two to a three test. It's just not. Those odds are not good odds. If I had one money, I could play ethereal form. Therein lies the issue. Needed that lone wolf. A lot of things. Could I, you don't have a shortcut, do you? Uh, uh. -uh. <laughs> Okay, I'll probably take it that I go to five out of seven on the health. We've seen a lot of health removing cards that are not ideal. Technically, I've got one extra from Olive. I haven't seen Final Rhapsody yet. That's a huge problem. I don't want to take that damage. Hate to break it to you, I don't want to take that damage. So we can wait and he can punch me. That's a lot. You're sure also is. at four of eight already. You got a Malison, but that's a lot. There's no way to get you over to the next location. Time to delve. Yeah, that's right. Tilly, time to delve. Yeah, Archaic Glyphs, that'd be good. How do I get money? Move you. I can't move you. Don't forget about the person behind you. Yeah, yeah. I need to just have one to burn to that. <laughs> Josh says, when in doubt, delve. So if I get that clue, move over spectral. And then it's triple spectral next turn. Then it's triple shriveling, That's and you could maybe move over and do the final damage before it yeah. hits. It's a teamwork. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to try to get this clue so that you can play Crack the Case. Okay. So that you can give me three money. Give me two money, rather. Two out of three. So you get one, I mm -hmm. get two. So investigate, move, spectral, and then he'll engage me next turn, and I just can't fail it. All right, investigate three on a three. Do you have anything to pump books? We know you don't, right? That is the problem. Okay. Somehow. That's fine. So we're going to just take that test as it is. I've got zeros on skulls, zeros on everything. We'll go minus one on recall the future. Yep. Now, if that fails, I think we try it again. And then you let him come to us. And then if that fails a second time, we'll probably try it a third time. And then he comes over, does an attack, and then we unload on him. Yep. I ain't scared of no ghost. Minus one on recall. Let's just nail it the first time. Yeah. I get all of this. I just don't quite appreciate the odds. I don't think all of it is the call here. If I had ritual candles, I'd feel way better here. Miss. We're going to live and learn. Oh, yeah, boy. So you plus try two. again at plus two? No, I'm at plus two. So I'll call minus three on recall the future. That got way better. 
So a minus 4 and a tentacle. Nailed it. You got any sanity damage? Nope. All right, the horn is fine. All right, so you get a clue? Get a clue as a first action, yeah. I'll crack the case. All right. I gain a buck, you I'll gain two. two money. Second action, let's move. All right, Spectre of Dead. Spectre of Dead. And then third action, we'll play Ethereal Form. Leave me with one money, so I'm gonna evade now at a five, six, seven. Nice. Is three. Nice, nice. And I think this is where I olive. This is definitely where you olive. Yeah. Because the only way to fail is the one token. So if mm -hmm. you get a couple bad tokens, you're still fine. And I can recall on probably minus three. Ah. Uh, it's the so most likely result. The two minus threes would fail me the test plus a tentacle. The thing about it is like if you get the minus four plus another like minus, like a minus three, mm -hmm. then you don't have a way out. But if you cancel the four and you get like a minus three and a minus one. That still works. But two minus three is equivalent to one minus four in yep. terms of me failing. That's fair. And there's two minus threes in the bag, one minus four. So I don't know, you know? There's something to that. Well, I'm going to call minus four just to be safe. All right. Because I'm currently four. Watch up. you hit two minus threes in a tentacle. Mm -hmm. There it is. Ah, good job. Minus one, minus two because of recall the future. Or I can take minus one, minus three. Was I four up? Let's look. Five, six, seven, six, five, four. So I can take the minus three and the minus one and not have to Neo recall the future or tap recall the future. Nice. So I'll still have it if something weird happens and he'll be exhausted. That's a good example of that because if you had called the minus three, you would have to take the minus four and the minus one to not exhaust recall, which yeah. is too much. But it's about to ready anyway. So, yeah. But in general game theory, I think that's correct. <laughs> Um, okay, Spectre of Death is down. So now my turn is over. Uh, enemies hunt that are going to hunt, etc. There's no hunter here. Spectre of Death wakes up and comes to me. Shadow behind me resolves. I lose one money. Um, is that at the end of the turn or at the beginning? Yeah. At the end of my turn, yeah. So then we gain draw money, card, draw a card. Gain, oh, Final Rhapsody, that's why. I'm like so good at punching it for one one time of punch. Boy, Final Rhapsody, I don't like you. Nothing. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. That was amazing. Okay. That was good. Yes. I feel like this scenario. The ball has bounced our way almost every way imaginable so far. Am I wrong? Is this going <laughs> un unnaturally good for us? All right. Technically, it's not evaded, so it can, but I'm ethereal, so it can't attack me. Then we get a doom and yeah. the bad cards. Doom and a bad You're card. you first. Yeah. Okay. Man, that final rhapsody was great. Uh, bad cards. Here we go. Crypt Chill, discard an asset or take two damage. That won't be too bad for me at all. I actually probably discard the Trumpet. What about Lone Wolf? Lone Wolf is the one you discard here, yeah. Because we together. We together now. No Lone Wolf's here. I also only have a Delve 2 Deep on my hand. So this is not, not important. Now, if it matters. It doesn't matter. OK. Doesn't matter. So test four, fail. Um, Lone Wolf downtown. Lone Wolf, Ward. yeah. See ya, asset. See ya, Jared. And over to you. Bad cards, ahoy. Joseph, you should definitely do it. He's thinking about painting Sky Terror minions after reading our blog one more time. Yes, 100%. Sure. Yeah. I believe in you. If oh, you have any questions, a... just message me. You are right. Yeah, the um, so important to note, ethereal form, if you succeed, disengage from each other enemy engaged with you. So you actually evade the thing that you were evading, and then every other enemy you would disengage from, and then you can move around. Nice. That's really nice. But uh -oh. in this case, it was just numbers. The pit below, attach your location. If Not there's bad. no copy of it attached, plus one shroud at the end of the round, each investigated location takes three. I think you'll end your turn not there. Yeah, so we'll let you go first. Yeah. See how bad or good it goes. Yeah, I'm going to flip my inside deck. Sure. No stone unturned. Okay, um, let's start out with shriveling. 
will do. Now, I'm not going to use Olive yet. So my assumption is that I'm going to take some sanity damage from revealing symbols during the shriveling spree. And so I want to wait and use Olive when I can get a Skull to heal with the Trumpet. That's, yep. my, that's my thinking. All right. So I'm currently at a 5 plus 3. So I'm currently an 8 to his 3. Head by five, so hard to head beat. Head by five. I don't need to recall the future whatsoever. Wow, Ben Sweeney says, I just finished painting all my sky tier heroes, minions, and outsiders. Minus three. That's a good good test for me. So three. Key measures having all your sky tier painted by your like you the one that did it. That's such an achievement. That's a lot. Congrats, man. That's awesome. Three for the spectre here. Second action, let's shrivel again. Alright. Shrivel, shrivel, shrivel. I believe hmm. this is where those late game mystics. It's just like, well, do we need to do ten damage? <laughs> Here it is. It's like the end of uh, nailed it. The first season of Stranger Things. Okay, so here's the question. Let's see. You get plus three if revealed during this attack. Take two horror when a token is revealed during a skill test. So I think Jim's trumpet would trigger first, and then I would take two horror for yeah. shriveling. So you need to take the two and then hit the skull again on the third shot. Yeah. Let's find out if that's true. Okay, six, and then... Phyllis Master says, you guys had a really rough first two scenarios. I guess the luck is just coming back around. And then one here and one on Olive. I totally understand that, Ben. I've been painting a lot as well. I said, thanks, had to get something done during isolation when work's closed. It's really nice. It's definitely, it's a surprising level of achievement. Even, I finished Cap, finally, my Captain America model, and like, the satisfaction that came in just completing that was like mm -hmm. super high. All right, last uh, thing. All right, we'll shrivel. We're going to use olive on this one. We're going to recall the future for minus four. Give me a skull or give me death. There's a minus four nice. and a zero. Recall the future. Uh, that's why we recall and the future. And there my is friends. the tentacle. All right, minus two. Thank you, Recall the Future. You're a beautiful card. I appreciate you very much. All right, is I'm up to nine. Zach, can you can you finish it off? <laughs> Say it ain't Joe. That's the question. Say it ain't Joe. <laughs> All right, here's what we're going to do. Two damage, one damage. One damage. Mm, don't have to yeah. use my Vicious Blow. How about that? We're going to move. Coming to you. You're in your yeah. Noir version. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, uh, so anyways, I started attacking. <laughs> uh, I'm going to punch for one. Just to, I'm going to walk in and punch the specter of death right. to the ground. I'm currently at a four. It's at what, three? It's a three, yeah. We're going to add three more. Yeah. So six to three. Um, actually, it's only going to be two more. So five, because I'm going to put more cards in. Six. Seven. Those beat cops have never seen play. Seven to three, just a waste <laughs> of space. So let's you start at four, five, six here. Six, yep. Seven, eight. Eight, eight to three. So you don't need that. Last instead beat cop. of the last beat cop, you only need to be up by four. Okay, I'm up by four. You can do no beat cops, or you can do both beat cops, save the steadfast, and hit the grizzly totem, and that'll, you'll, that'll get you there. Because then it'll be at four. Double five, beat six, cop, seven. grizzly totem, we'll hold on to the card. Seven to three is up by four. Good luck. And then you can do a second one if it sucks. Yeah. yeah. Second action. You got it. Oh, wait. Does it one less damage? Is that what it says? If a token is in the skull, the attack deals one less damage. Nothing. I punch him and nothing oh happens. Oh, my gosh. He wouldn't be the specter of death if uh, we didn't have to work here. Yeah. Maybe Vicious Blow here just in case you hit the hood again. Vicious Blow, steadfast. Yeah, let's go. Um... All right. So anyways, don't do it. Yes. It's a zero. Good. When you need it. He's gone. Victory Send two. him back to the gate of hell. All right. First action move. Second action hood. Third action kill. Yep. Stealing all my, my cred. End of the round. This goes away. Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work, as they say. Making it work. Going to gain a buck. Everybody readies. Draw my last card. What happens when I run out of cards? Uh, take one sanity and redraw. Insanity. And reshuffle, rather. Really. 
nice, 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 nice. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. <laughs> We're well old machines, Zach. We're we're doing it. I still got one charge on the shriveling too. Okay, so now we have to actually win the game. I feel like we got rid of a threat, and we're well. We're doing what we need to do. Now we need to flip this location over, and then hopefully it connects to whatever. If it's not the thing we need, mm -hmm. I might come this direction. Okay, and I like go that. Drop this dust. Uh, this shuffles. And then we get a Doom and a bad cards. Mm hmm Third of the way there. Starting with me, it's a Corpse Dweller. Oh, there he is. Spawn Corpse Dweller at that location. Hunter and Retaliate. So now I'm definitely wanting to go over there. Five health's a lot, though. I, I'm also just like, yeah, not wanting to. He's going to hunt us, but if we go up here yeah, and so nice. <laughs> give me the old Scooby-Doo. All right, start of the turn. That's right, the Scooby-Doo run around. I'll flip yeah. this over. Extensive research. Oh, wait, what's your bad card? Oh, yeah. Spirit's Torment. Attach to a location. After you leave a location, you must either take a horror or lose an action. Spend an action and put a clue on this location to get rid of it. What do you think about that one? Is that okay? I'm okay with it. I'm okay with that, yeah. Now, this could be the location that we need. It could be, but we just need to drag them out and we'll loop around and scooby doo them. Sure. Um, you want to go first? You want to attach a clue there? Or I can attach a clue there and then move. Um, how about... I attach, I'll move and spend the clues because I'm more likely to be able to get more clues. Okay. Let Sounds me good. grab that. You got it? Yeah. All right, so here's what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> Cardi Moon, yeah, it's so good, right? I say this team is really a good team, yeah, all things considered, because like we, we're not so bad at anything that uh, we can't kind of cover for when things go poorly for one or the other. Three book, you know, four fight, four book, three fight. Having four fight on my investigator is really strong. Yeah. And he has his, his signature weapon is the gun. Just standard. I feel like this is a good two-player team, particularly. It's a really good two-player team, yeah. It okay. was built for us, actually. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, you want to go drop a clue, explore, and see what we get into here? I think I might drop a clue to do that, play my guns. Oh, nice. And then move. That's not bad. Yeah, Over that's there. not bad. Yeah. All right, so let's spin an action to drop a clue here. And then I'm going to play my guns, finally have some money. Yeah, get some Colts. Uh, it comes in with... And they do plus one damage, yeah? Mm-hmm. So you can do a six damage turn. And if it defeats an enemy, I can move an insight from my discard pile to the bottom nice. of the hunch deck. So we could potentially shrivel and shoot the Corpse Dweller to get rid yeah. of them. Uh, so then I will sp use my last action. To move here, spinning two clues, and Crypt of the Sepulchral Lamp. <laughs> Four clues. Sepulchre. Uh, is <laughs> when it's investigated, use Brain instead. I'll take it. I got five. When uh, is revealed, put the top two catacombs and the catacombs deck into play uh, to the above and to the right. Ooh, above. Okay. Let's slide it down. Let's slide them down. So cool. I'm here. And then the last two locations have entered play. Nice. OK. So odds are that these are the ones that we need. Yeah, but we are trapped. By the, the weirdo? He will eventually pen us. Uh, I guess we can loop around here, Scooby-Doo fashion. We can also murder him. Yep. My favorite. OK. That was my turn. This is a good. These are good. OK. All right, so. People are still calling for the uh, what's on the table. You and I stream, you cook. <laughs> I entertain while it's days, cook. man. That'll, well, that'll happen. Robert would be good at that, too. Yes. <clears throat> Incredibly good. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's your guy's show more than it's even me. I can, yeah. I can just be at the table the whole time. There you go. <laughs> Sounds like, I mean, I'm just here <laughs> to play games. I get to play games, and then there's just food and drinks. Weird. So. I can do a move, move, and just kind of see where we are. Or I can sit here and grab some clues. I think it's a good spot for you to grab clues. But I already have. Oh, you're good. Move. I've got let's, three. Let's go find this thing. So it could be like, OK. So first action, let's move. I also like exploring that before he's here. Second action, let's move. 
It's the Well of Souls. That seems like a good location. Victory one. Forced after you end your turn at Well of Souls, you must either take a direct horror or discard two cards at random from your hand. Forced when Well of Souls is revealed, put the topmost catacombs in the catacombs deck into play. So it's not. Okay. But it is victory one. You need to go snipe that and get back. I hope I get the two get two clues at your location next. So I can just move, be, grab yeah. the two, come back. Like a sense of research would be good there. Yeah, but I'd have to have more cards. Slash money. You played your guns. Uh, third action, do I probably roll back? Yeah. And then I will get that if I can. If not, it's fine. We can't let victory go unspoiled here. <laughs> I agree. Or un unclaimed. I also might wait until he's here to then move there if I have to. But you get a clue and you'll go check out what's up there. All right, so move, move, move. All right, did a little we'll shuffle this. Classic catacombs exploring. And then everything readies. I didn't have anything that was used. Draw a card. Gain a resource. Working a hunch. Ooh, that's good. That's perfect, actually. It's pretty good. Move, hunch, investigate, move. That would be ideal. Can you hit a four shroud? We will see, won't we? <laughs> it's got to come from your skill card, probably. Um, okay. He hunts, right? He doesn't hunt. He does hunt, yeah. He's got Hunter down there. Uh, hidden. Hidden Hunter. Hidden Hunter is at the bottom. OK, Course Roller goes over, and then we do the bad stuff. Did you gain a money and draw a card? I did not draw a card. I gained a money, I think, though. Yeah, you did your encounter deck thing, I think. OK, OK. OK, here's this. Uh, did you put a Doom on? No. Doom on. Doom on. Five of 12. Ravenous Ghoul. Coming to me. That's one shriveling away. And I get in all four eyes in the walls. The Test head. three brain. For each point I fail by, take a horror. Not a big deal. Must be divided ev as evenly as possible among cards. Mm -hmm. Malison, not letting you go. Don't take four. But you can't take four, right? It's a three test. So at the worst, you take two. Malison takes one. Mm -mm. Uh huh. If he gets a minus four, I fail by seven. No, it's only a three test. The max you can fail by is you get him to zero. Ah, you can, you okay, always okay, go okay. to zero. That's why flashlight's cool, so cool, good. Cool, 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 cool. Minus seven is failing by three still. Let's. Why don't we try to not fail by a lot? Okay. I have cards I'm not going to use, I don't think. Um, I'm going to drop in two mm. and use the totem. Your late game Hawkeye I'm going to save the totem. So it. it's two. It's four to three. I'm ahead by one. Okay. Let's just make it reasonable. Okay. Who needs that totem? Nice. Passed. Passed it. I love those minus ones, don't you? My favorite is the zeros, of course. All right, so I'm going to shrivel, um, clue, and I could move up to the last catacombs location. I think that's what you should do. But there's a lot of these end your turn and bad things happen, so I could also just stay put. Yeah, I like him moving here and then me being able to go there. I have a preposterous sketches, so I'm going to get to draw three. Mm, um, that's, yeah, and that's, that's worth the wrong. I put that in my yeah, put that in here. <laughs> so, and you may as well take a free one from here, unless you. I may as well. You could move, hunch, move. That's that's a waste of time. <laughs> it's not good enough. Yeah, because I have to move back to yeah. get it. All right. Well, let's start with the thing that I know is going to happen. I'm going to try to kill the school. You got right. it. So first action, we're going to shrivel. Uh, Ravenous School has a three fight. I have a four, five for the Holy Rosary, six, seven, eight for shriveling. So it's currently eight to three. So I'm five up. I'm going to use Olive. I'm going to call minus four. The only thing that would fail is Tentacle minus three, minus three. All right. The odds, odds are with are, you. Odds are so bad of that happening, you wouldn't even believe it. Yeah, and I like this play too because, like, Essentially, if it ends up needing to be this location, I want to be able to loop around him. <laughs> Tentacle minus three, zero. It's actually close. That was one token <laughs> off of being the only way to fail. All right, so minus three. Succeeds. Score that sweet. Shriveling doesn't matter. Yeah. Rabbin is school, gone. Nice. Three and damage when you need it is a lot. And no damage. Yeah, it's crazy. You imagine like not having the ability to just pump three. All right, um, second action. 
Investigate? Probably investigate, yeah. I don't mind that. You might need to take two, sh two shots at it. Yeah. And then you just wait, and then we go see what it is. What it is, what it ain't. Second action, let's try a clue at five to two. Okay. Recall the future is going to call a minus four. One bag, one token Seems fails. good. Minus yep. one. You were built to investigate this location. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, right. And then last action, I think instead of moving, I think I'm going to get ready for the future. I like that. Okay. So I'm going to pay two for word of command to search out a spell. I guess that's true. Cultist could have been bad because it would have been minus one damage if you hit two cultist tokens. Oh, right. That would have been awful. Yeah, actually. Perhaps the worst of things, actually. And I'm getting a spell, yeah. So my options are Spectral Razor, uh, level zero shriveling, which is two damage, four charges, no bonuses, or Wither, which is essentially bonuses. I, I think I'm going to go get Wither. I mean, I need something. Let's see, we've got five turns left. Wither could be really important. Now, Spectral could also be really important. Because we saw that Ravenous School, it would one shot the Ravenous School. But then, what happens after that? If we get enemies after that, it's bad news. Yeah, because. Lord only knows what happens to the pits of hell when we flip the axe. And I'm planning to delve, so let's or go the with it. Yeah, because yeah, look at this. What's what's all this about? Why, why are there all those cards over here? <laughs> we might not be doing anywhere near as good as I thought we were. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, naming the spell then searching is kind of a, a waste of time. Uh, uh, the thing like, about that... Like, I know my deck list. I could, I could look at it and say, like, okay, I have these spells left. I will say, if that's how you prefer to play and that's how your group plays, far be it from me to <laughs> tread on you. I just didn't want to um, go through my discard pile and like figure but it out. Not that's that's not the level I'm at. All right, over to you, man. Hmm. You don't say. All right. First thing I'm going to do, we're going to play some preposterous sketches to draw three from hand. Oh yes, the first one is amnesia. Discard all but one card. Ah, great. That's Second very one, handy. third one. All right, great, great, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> um, and then I have two actions left. I, I want cards. I'm gonna have fast action here to gain a clue. And then I think I just want cards so that if I get that card again, that's the two free clues. Mm -hmm. I can actually it. do it. So I'm gonna draw. Yeah. Second action, draw. Yep. Third action, draw. Okay. Perfect. All right. So hunters hunt here. Yep. Uh, we ready? Everything readies? I mean, I thank goodness I got amnesia when I did. I know, that perfect, was right? Very fortunate. Oh, got Druna right into shriveling, nice. All right, Doom. Card, resource. It's a six of 12. Doom on. Bad card to me. It's all you. Got it comes. Dulcent. My goodness. Nearest unrevealed is going to go up here. Hey, that's where you want to be anyway. That's where I'm going. He's oh. perfect for shriveling. The for shadow for... behind you. Classic. Oh, a classic card. We'll deal with it. You probably got. You got. What okay. You need. Uh, start of the round. Are we going to end up up here? You think? I think we have to explore it. Okay. I'm going to flip this up real quick. Yep. Oh, a cryptic research. Fast. My God. Choose an investigator for three. Do you need cards? You know, honestly, I really don't. I think I play the okay. wither, and I'm I'm pretty much done. You're good. Um, I, so I, mean, I can get a black cat, but that's about it. In the event I get to take the initiative, are you cool with me going first? Absolutely. So I fast action here. If I get taken initiative, I'm going to move here and use it to, to clue on. Deduction, you mean? Mm -hmm. I have deduction. Oh, but I just right have on. A, I have a skill card that gets worse after you after you go. It's zero yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah. Unless there's a reason for you to go nope. first. No, nope, no, nope. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop wither, move, and roast the docent. Yep. Hopefully. And I'm basically moving here in the event that's not where we want to go. Then he can move. Uh, I can actually draw him this way. He'll move here or out here if you want. If you if you need to get out. Well, I don't. Yeah. Or if he moves here, you can deal with him, and I'll just go down and get this location. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. Um, cryptic research. Draw three. Fast action. Mm hmm. Johnny. Hmm. Um, let's play a shortcut. Oh, nice shortcut. Move for free. 
and then we will investigate. It's a four. I'm at a four. Four. Just an old-fashioned four. Five. Totem for six. If you want it. Eight. Yeah. I'm four ahead. That's plenty, right? That's plenty. Yeah. Four ahead. Bag on. And uh, inquiring mind only counts. Oh, inquiring mind does. Yeah, it is a clue of my location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're good. Yeah. Live and learn. Nailed that it. Two. Take so your two clues. Grab two. But wait. You have two action. You got to crack the case. Crack that uh, case. Gain yeah. the four bucks. And now I got to spend it. Yeah. I got two actions left because I have the person behind me. Uh, let's go. Get that boy in the bag. Yeah. Let's go uh, logical just... reasoning. Ooh. To heal too. Nice. You heal uh, physical with that? Physical or mental. Or mental? No, or discard the terror. I can't do that. You is that a terror? That. No, it's not. It is. You can discard Shadow Mind okay, if you want. Yeah. Let's just pay there two you go. and discard it. Here's some logical reasoning. There's nothing back there. And then. Don't worry. Things don't work in the darkness. Just in case. You I'm want gonna... to get out of this location. Why? Uh, I think at the end of the way. You take a direct horror, discard two random cards. I mean, I can put a horror here. Direct means it has to go to you. Mm. Well, I don't want to move because he'll hunt me. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, you take one direct horror. I'm what, okay what's with the that. Big deal about that? Uh, yeah. So I'm going to play the Archaic Glyphs. Yes, I like that a lot. I think you might have to glyphs the Corpse Dweller. Yeah. Glyphs the Corpse Dweller, rather. Okay. Okie dokie. That's a victory one. What up? First action, Wither. Second action, let's move up here. Spin in the clues. See what this says. Tome of Shadows, victory one, comes in with four clues. When Tome of Shadows is revealed, advance to Act 1B. Oh, good. While the man in the pallet mask is at the Tome of Shadows, he gains plus one health for each player and cannot be defeated with, by his action ability. Could be a bad time to be here. 1B, here we go. Rows of skulls chatter their teeth endlessly as you pass through a narrow stone archway into a round chamber illuminated by firelight. In the center of the tomb stands the stranger, peering into the blaze. Across the wall, shadows dance and twist with the flickering of the flame. The stranger turns to face you, and his own shadow spreads across the wall. Where a shadow's arms should be, tentacle shapes emerge, enveloping the walls in darkness. He lifts his hands toward the wall as if trying to show you something. Spawn the set aside, the man in the pallid mask, weakness in the Tomb of Shadows. He's aloof. Check the campaign log. If Ish Ishimaru Haruko is not listed under VIP slain, Nope, Ishimaru is not. Search playing. the collection for him. Oh, right. And spawn him at your or her at your starting location. Okay, that's not bad. That's way over there. Ishimaru, you're fine. Act two A. The shadows cast along the bone walls shift into the shapes of several figures, acting out macabre parody of the King in Yellow. Objective: Tell us how to stop the path from opening. If the man in the pallid mask is defeated, advance. Objective: When he is trying to show, what is he trying to show us? Investigators in the Tomb of Shadows may spend the requisite number of clues as a group to advance. Two per player. So if we spend four clues while we're here, we can advance. I've already got three. Okay. Or we can kill the Man in the Pallid Mask. If the Man in the Pallid Mask is defeated, that's also a way to advance. How do we defeat him? What does he say? Plus he's... one health per player. Okay, so he's a five health, and we can't investigate him. Yep. So I just have to shrivel him a bunch. And if you can't, then what it looks like is this will move here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move, glyph, move up. Yeah. And then I've got three clues. So yeah, we're like. Then it's just, and then we should drain that thing. And if we get frisky, we should delve. Yeah. OK, so last action, I'm going to try to wither the catacombs docent. I need to hit a symbol. So I'm going to use olive. And then let's see. Uh, let's do the minus four on Recall the Future. So this is a five, six, seven test. I might call minus three on that. Seven to three, six, five, four. I'm going to call the minus three. I'm feeling frisky. Nailed it. Hmm. Can't resolve that hood. I need a skull. Mm. Nasty test. All right, so recall for minus one and then minus two. So it does going to do an extra damage, but Hood says does a one less damage, so only one damage to the docent. 
It doesn't shrivel and reduce its health by one? Uh, wither does. That's right. It does. But it does minus one damage. So it does zero damage. Health is minus one. So it actually does but nothing. Plus one damage, though, right? From something? No, there's no plus one damage. Hmm. So that's what I. So if you reveal the hood, you get minus one health, which is what I needed. But then because the hood says reduce damage, uh, oh. so I do zero damage and reduce this health by one, so technically nothing happens. But if you hit him again. If I were to have hit him again, but that is my third action. Mm. Missed. Yeah. Bum diz. But next time we'll get him. OK, so that is that. Recall was used there, although you don't even really need You can just fail the test. And that works for me. OK, so now we go to everything readies. Mm -hmm. Hunter's hunt, catacombs man hits me. So actually, for dude, one. I just do this. He hunts towards me. Yeah, that works. And then I'm going to be a scoot and So I will technically have the clues easily. Because I can move clue, move, and then we can spin the clues there. And at any point, we can yeah. get out of here. Yeah. Now technically, you could delve at that moment. That's right. But is this the end? This isn't the end. There's a third act, or whatever it's called. Yeah, act. Ooh, this is good. So, we'll see. Oh yeah, and she hunts. Start hunting. All right, one doom on. You get your card and money. And then, uh, bad card? Doom? Yep. Seven. Card here. Grasping hands. Test three foot for each point. Take a damage. Nope. I'm going to word of protection that. <laughs> nope. No thanks. I, I can't risk taking three damage. So you just cancel it? Cancel it. Take a horror. Horror. Take it on the Holy Rosary here. My bad card? Your bad card, yeah. Crypt chill. Test four brain. If I fail, it's using this card an asset I control. Yeah. Fingerprint, Fingerprint kit. kit. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Failed. You failed. Fingerprint kit. Gone. OK. Now, back to the stuff. Let me start with this wither just to see what happens. On the docent. Um, so I'll do that, and then basically I can hang out with the man in the pallid mask. I can try to get a clue. I can play. You can just, you, well, you should prepare, because there's another I get some money. Yeah, I should get some money. You yeah. just build. OK. How are you out of money? Uh, I paid one for the yeah, uh, yeah, water yeah, protection. Yeah, yeah. So let's wither with Olive. We're going to recall the future on the minus three. Uh, Josh, I'm basically definitely going to have the clues to do it. So I'd, uh, there's a plus one. <laughs> Don't want to resolve that. But I got to. He will get minus one health. So technically, he's currently a minus one health. Man, this has been the. He's just <laughs> insanely annoying. He's very annoying. And this hoods in this, in this uh, against Wither is pretty. What annoying. up, William? Arkham Fridays are going great. Glad to have you here. Second action. Now I'm at a seven to his two. So I'm up five. There's nothing to recall on that one. By the way, inside deck is working a hunch. Nailed it. So I'm definitely going to have the clues to do it. Where's this guy? Dead. Just so we're. OK, good. You've got working a hunch. Nice. Yeah. Uh, last action. I'm going to gain a money. OK. That's it. So I'm going to move, move working a hunch to get a fourth clue. I have one action left before I advance this thing. Should we wait? Do you want to advance it? I feel like we should wait. Let's wait. Do you think you can get another clue off of that? Because victory won there. I definitely think I can get another clue yeah, off of that. Yeah, see if you can just, I mean, you may as well take a crack at it. Let's, What's uh, up, William McCartney? Hey, Arkham's going great. Practice makes perfect this. And I have also two of the get two free clues. OK, things, yeah, that's Which right. is going to be great. Right. Practice makes perfect. Ooh, see if you can pull something there. Any practice things? Yeah. A perception. Nice. Oh, that's so good. Which is be, getting the cards from that so for the free, two free clues is going to be money in the so bank. So good. Uh, and then I'm investigating. So it's four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Seven. And let me look at my hand real quick. Seven to four. 
This is a good test. You don't need that's only two tokens. Don't need to worry about well, it. Well, it gets me perception now and back. You take that test. Yeah. You take that test. You don't have one book you want to throw in, do you? No. All right. Here we go. Nailed it. Let's horn. No, hold on, hold on. It's a minus four. Yeah, I still get to horn. That's all I care about. But I fail. Do you fail? Bummer. Yep. That's the worst. Wait, no, that's not true. You were up four. It's a four shroud, right? Four, five, six. Oh, I thought practice was seven. The test. Yeah, yeah, seven with the glyphs. Yeah, that's right. Nothing to be done. Yeah, I think I should have committed more to it. Whatever. But there you go. All right. End of the turn. End of the turn. Hunter's gonna hunt. Hunter's gonna. I'm gonna hunt. not have them go to the same location. That's probably fair. You're gonna. Those glyphs are gonna do some work for you. This game, I'm sure of it. Draw a card, gain a resource. Doom and bad cards? Doom and bad cards. we first. It's a catacomb docent. All right, and then I get the last bad card. Obscuring Fog, plus two Shroud. It's a six. <laughs> well, I think victory one is going to elude us. Maybe. There's the extensive research. Yeah, I should have invested. Mm. People saying we should have them on the same location. Why is that? So we can like avoid Escape. them all at once, I guess, yeah? Fine. That's I'll fair. trust you. That's totally fair. Hey, Blake. Happy Freaky Friday to you. Hole in the ozone about to make the world collapse. All right, what did you draw? Something weird? Oh, just the foggy Too stuff? Yeah. Oh, and you got the extensive research. Yeah, I, it would have been so good if I had just done it. Well, I mean, I still get two of them easily. Let's advance this thing before we do anything crazy, right? Yeah, I agree. We, do we even have to determine who's going first yet? No. Let's just advance it before we. Yeah, I don't think we do have to determine. We can do it at any action window. So I'm going to spend four. There's probably one at the end of something that we could use it. What is he trying to show us? Investigators in the Tomb of Shadows may spend the requisite number of clues to group to advance. So we're spending four total. Okay. If the man in the pallid mask was defeated, he's not. If you spent clues to advance, recognizing that the stranger poses no immediate danger to you, you study your surroundings and strange shadows along the wall. He takes something from the fire, and the shadows twist and distort once more, revealing a strange diagram. Mark two doubt in the campaign line. Nice. Okay, now we're doubt up. Remove the man in the pallid mask from the game. Advanced act 3A, leading the way. Okay. Uh, is that say leading the way? Yeah, leading the way. Okay, so we're skipping the way out, and we're going to advance 3A, leading the way. The shadows along the walls of the tomb begin to coalesce. Strange runic symbols twist in the images of a building with a tall tower, its spire reaching up toward the ceiling. Then the stranger beckons for you to follow and disappears through the stone archway behind you. Ignore the forced ability on blocked passage. Objective, if each undefeated investigator is at blocked passage, advance. It's not out. That's amazing. It's either here or here. Let's go on a, let's go on a mission. <laughs> so I think we end here? Nope. Yeah, now we, now we got a real I think we do end here still. Real situation. If we end here, we can move them here. Mm -hmm. And then we can go. Yeah. Do the old electric boogaloo. Now we are going to need clues to turn those locations over. Mm -hmm. Well, you can research here, right? Extensive research. Move. Doesn't really matter where it is, I guess. Let me four. I have to pay oh, four. that is. Play. It does have to be on somebody's turn. Okay. Yeah, Astro Travel, I do have in the deck. I just don't have it in hand. Time to delve, dude. Let's go. I don't think that's the case. Um, so no matter what, you're getting two clues. Sort of. How many cards you got in your hand? Four. Three? Four? So it would cost so me four. Cash four. Four cash? Well, or f it would cost me five unless I draw a card. But if I draw a card, play a card, I'm stuck. You have four cards in hand? Mm-hmm. 
Minus two, so it costs me four right now. Mm-hmm. And I only have three money. Mm-hmm. You need money. So I think more realistically is move, investigate, move, mm. take the horror, mm -hmm. move them up here, then come down. And then I have to move, investigate, move as yeah. well. And then once, then we can get in somewhere. We just can't fail. And wherever we get into, hopefully has the other two clues that we have to go to both locations. Yeah. All right. So in that case, I'm gonna. You good with me? Just move, investigate. Yeah, we may as well see that before we do anything else. All right, move. Oh, that uses the brain instead, actually. Mm -hmm. That's bad. Bad indeed. <laughs> and what are these guys? This is like a five and a four. I need more spells. Hmm. I don't know the answer. I mean, I can get there. I can be three ahead. Pretty good. Let's try it. Can't hate that. Move, investigate. I'll commit these two and use my totem. Three ahead. Hold on a second. Um, you want to go four ahead? We're not at the same location. Right. <laughs> Otherwise, yes. But yeah, <laughs> I'd love to. Nice. I'm playing the horn. One, two, three. Yeah, you I'm did it. Three ahead. So I get a clue. Um, and then I use my last action. You can have a sanity uh, recovered. Dude. Right. Do -do -do -do. Move here. Doot, da boot, da doot, doot. Bow. Now it's your turn. All right, first action move. Second action, I'm at five to two. So I'm gonna call minus four and recall. Let's go olive just to make sure. And then let's dump candles. So I'm currently a six to two. Recall the future on the minus four. Good skull, <laughs> if I want it to be. So plus one, minus three, so minus two succeeds. Okay, and a clue. And we'll move. Nailed it. Hold from the location. Uh, oh, after I end my turn. Yeah, take a direct tour, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I thought it was the end. It's all right, we played, the the, we played the horn for you. All right, into the turn, take the horror. And uh, Hunter's going to hunt. Hunter's hunt. Our plan is succeeding. Ready, draw, resource stuff. Ready, draw, resource. And I have hypochondria. Add it to my third area. Take a damage, take a horror, discard it for two actions. Never, never to be done in this game. All right, bad cards, you're first. Did you add one doom? Yep. Uh, no. <laughs> Those are different. <laughs> Nine of 12. All right, bad card. Spirits Torment, after you leave the location, take a horror or lose an action. That's what we're going to do. We're just both going to be taking a horror on that one, yep. I think. Mm -hmm. My bad card. Your card. It's a ghoul. Hmm. OK, that can get withered. Wither, wither, wither. Without, All right, let me flip my insight card. incident. No stone unturned. Nice. So there's your astral travel. OK. And you've got your guns, so you can go blow that guy up. Yeah. Without without thinking. And it's really good because I got to put an insight back into my deck, and I'm down to like very. You few can blow guns. that ghoul up without an issue either. That's what I'm saying. If you want to, so do you kill ghoul, bone filled caverns, catacombs docent, and then I go, bone filled catacombs. Now what we could do is I could go. Oh, I need a clue. We need a clue to move in there together. So we both have to end here, before either of us can in there. Can go into there. If you did, yeah. 
kill ghoul, move something, like no stone, and then I did move yeah. move into here, wither catacombs, docent. That's that would be, pretty that good. That would be great. All right, well, let me the... kick this chain off. Detective's Colt, 1911s, spinning a charge. Uh, I get plus one fight, so I'm at five to two. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use my cop, make it six, seven to two. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna, I don't, homie don't want to play no games. Just don't hood it. It's a two damage attack, right? Yeah. Okay. And if you have to, you can attack twice. Not a big deal. Got it. Nailed it. So he's gone. This goes away. And then I'm going to move. And what is moving? Does it make me do something? I take a horror? You take a horror, yeah. And then I'll play no stone. And Oh, and when I defeat that, i got to put something on bottom. Mm-hmm. And then if we find the right location, are we in a good spot? Does that That's mean? The, if we both get there, we win. OK. So it could be this one as well, down. which means these clues become the clues that we'll yeah. need to get. Which I should be able to get pretty okay. easily. Um, you know stones? And then I know stone. I'm going to go while you do that. Mm -hmm. So first action move, take a horror. Second action move, can you spend a clue off of Spend you, it. Catacombs docent comes in. Let's see what we got. Blocked passage. There That's it is. It. Take two damage. Uh oh. Um, one. Do I kill all of you? No. Two. And then I got to take horror because of hypochondria. After I take one or more, I take one direct horror. So that's only going to be one. OK. And then third action. I think I'm going to play this safe rather than easy. OK? You hip to that? Oh, I ignore it. That's right. Why do you ignore it? Because of the act. The act told us to, or the agenda. Mm. It said, like, ignore text on it, right? So we didn't even need the clues. Well, we had to get in here. It's just block passage doesn't have text. Oh, yeah, it's just like yeah, once it's it flips. OK, so then last action. So I feel like I try to hit the docent, and then next turn you move and we delve. Absolutely. Yeah. Plus I have these evades in case we have enemies showing up. Yeah. So last action, let's try to. Let's try to dose in this. I'm going to use Olive. Let's call a minus four, probably. I think I'm three up, four up. Let's see, plus two, so I'm seven to three, six, five, four. Let's call it a minus four. I think the math says minus three here. I don't 100% know, though. Good. Skulls are good. No, just anything but a tentacle here. Oh, my god. How is it possible that the double hood happens? <laughs> Golly. OK. So nothing happens to him, but I will use the trumpet to heal one. Unless, what's your sanity at? I have four left. Yeah, we'll heal you one. We chose Gracias. Oh my gosh, that's annoying. Oh my gosh, it's really annoying. Um, OK, then we go to the end of the turn. Catacombs docent attacks me for one. They're going to both go here. They both hunt. Um, draw a card, gain a resource. Doom, the bad cards? Doom and the bad cards. It's yeah. at 10. Crypt chill. Asset uh, you got those gets for discarded. Days. I didn't do it a million times. Minus two. Failed. Let's drop an asset. Um, I'm going to drop the trumpet. We advance whenever we're both there. You're already there. You just need to punch him, and then I, we'll delve and get out of here. Yeah. I need to punch him. That's right. Um, my trumpet's gone, and then it's over to you. Your bad card. Isn't that funny that you still have that delve in your day? Yeah. That's four brain. If I fail, I get rid of an asset. All right, hey, yeah, is there are worse things in the world, aren't there? It was nice knowing you, Malison. Or you can take two damage. Or I guess you have to, yeah, choose. You just do Malison. 
I fail. Oh, shriveling is an asset. I should do that, yeah. Malison out. Thank you, guys. That's smart. I left him in the crypt. All right. I'll start. Fl flip my insight deck. There's that extensive research again. Ooh, good. That was, so yeah, you was delve. If I get an enemy, I'll leave him where, where it's at. OK. First action, delve on. So we each get a bad card? Yep. And that goes in the experience point? It does. I like that. I yeah, put your card over there for you. Thanks. Shadow behind me. Not a big deal at all. All right, so minus. Catacombs, Docent, nearest unrevealed location. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're out of here, right? You I just pass. I can mess around. I'll, I'll try to kill that Docent. Wither with Olive. Could it go bad in any way? Nope. Mm. Dead. Money in the bank, homie. And I'll play my horn for myself just to lull myself into a sweet sense of security. Uh, and then last action, I'll play the Black Cat. Finally. We'll go to the Black Passage, and we're triggering. Boom, boom, boom. Let's advance. The secret exit, 3B. Following the stranger's lead, you take a circuitous route through the underground passageways. Finally, you are confronted by a dead end, a tunnel blocked by an impossibly thick wall of collapsed bone and rubble. My last action, instead of Black Cat, I'm going to look behind me. <laughs> okay. The stranger stands nearby, holding the partially charred skull he pulled from the fire in the Tomb of Shadows. What now, you ask, confused. He holds the skull aloft, and the floor begins to collapse into a pit of dark ebonness below. Bones and rubble from the wall fall into the pit, and it grows larger with each moment. The stranger bows, then falls backward into the pit before you can grab him. Wait, you call out, but it is too late. With the pit growing and threatening to swallow the catacombs entirely, you have no choice but to follow him. Resolution 2. Nice. And yeah, it doesn't technically uh, would attack me. Doesn't matter. We, we got it a million ways from Sunday. All right. Hey, this is a good one. How much victory is on the board there? One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four, five, six in the display. Yep. Woo! This is good. We can fully realize ourselves. Resolution 2. The Pallid Mask. That was great. I feel like that worked out really well. I, I think it went fortunate for us, but also there was only two more Doom until that flipped. Yeah. OK. I think I left an experience on the table. I could have had that. Here? Mm-hmm. You want to go get it? Too late now. All right. And it Res would have been the clues we needed. It. Yeah. Oh, good. Resolution 2. You fall ceaselessly through the empty abyss. No air slows your descent or courses through your hair. Can you imagine? We're just falling endlessly. In the dark. Like Gandalf style. Uh, it's a passageway devoid of reality. Finally, you pass through an invisible gateway and enter another realm. Looming above and below you are two skylines, one a warped reflection of the other. Hold on just a second. If you'll notice. Friends, you see these two. Uh, this is a reflection. Two skylines. Mm -hmm. The Tower of Carcosa here. The spires. The world between the worlds, my friends. The stars behind. Come on, come, come on. on. Look at, let's just get the light to catch that. Look at that baby. Whoo! Whoo! I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> uh, a vortex of swirling black cr clouds and crashing waves lies in between them. You study both sides. The familiar city and its strange mirror. Could this be the path to Carcosa, a passageway between realities where realms converge? If so, all that is left is to find where this gate appears on Earth. You fall into the vortex below. You are shaken awake by a police officer and lifted to your feet. You feel as though the weight of a train is slammed into your head. The pain is unbearable. The, main, the man shines a flashlight in your eyes and asks you several questions in French. He also gets minus two shroud. Your eyes widen with realization, and you rest your arm free from the confused man's grip. I have to go at once. In your campaign law, record that you know the side of the gate. The side of the gate? The side of the gate. So we fall through a pit into another dimension and then wake up by a cop? Yes. 
Or a cop wakes we us up. We saw the scene on the board here, and then we uh, woke up by a cop with a flashlight. That was the minus two shroud joke. Uh, add two tally marks under chasing the stranger. Hey, we did a great job not uh, not killing him, but by doing that, annoying him. <laughs> I feel like he was annoyed that we didn't take the bait. Remove all hood tokens and replace them with tablet tokens. Uh -oh. That's better for me because Black Cat deals with tablets. And those hoods seem awkwardly bad all the time. Yep. All right, two tablets coming in. Yeah. <laughs> Joshua Creasel, can Zach please play the part of the French officer? <laughs> what questions were asked? Parlez-vous anglais? Uh, no, wait, yes. Oui. You heard my uh, French accent earlier. So. Yeah, I love your French accent. Check Ishimaru's location. What does that mean? Oh, we're here. If Ishimaru is in the victor display, recorder name under VIP slain, is not, each investigator earns victory points. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, each investigator earns victory to the victory display. That's six. Seven. Seven. Six. Should six. Be six. Six. Yeah. So how many experience should we have? I want to do a count. All right, hold on. Let me add it. All right, we did it, man. That was clean. That was clean. You notice that Jim never fails tests, aside from the awkward wither every now and again. How does it feel so not to awesome. fail? I mean, it's just like, OK, well. Yeah, you did. Your withering was not exactly to dream for. Oh, Ishimaris has a victory point. Are you guys? <gasps> seven. Seven. What champions, chat? Thank you. I thought it was seven for some reason. I didn't know why I thought that. I thought it because it was Because I knew. Chrysol, it's German. Okay, Chrysol. Very nice, guys. Under the course, really. Great. Hey, that, that really much, worked how out. How much experience should we have spent so far? Okay, hold on. Our total experience, and it's awkward for me because I have discounts, is 6, 11, 16, 27. 27 XP total. All right, guys, let's build some decks. Let's add, add some nonsense. See what we can get into here. Yeah, so I've only spent 16. Yeah, you have a ton. So I have 11. Yeah. That's two <laughs> deciphered realities if you want. <laughs> here comes the heat, my friends. Should we, should we have tried to kill Ishimaru? No, we shouldn't have. No. No, we shouldn't have. You know, does, you got to know when to hold him, know when to fold him. I've literally invented that quote. Never count your victory while you're at the table. Plenty of time for counting when the scenario is done. It writes itself. I like that we delve TD. It's finally time to remove delve, right? I might leave it in. I don't even know what I'm going to bypass this. <laughs> <laughs> it's two deciphered realities, though, right? You know it is. You know it's exactly what it is. You've been wanting to do it your whole life. You may as well go with it. Are you going to put them in the hunch deck or the real deck? I, Most I, of the time, they're not useful. So it's hard to put them in the hunch deck. Yes. Although one in there is kind of spicy. You know how I like my spice. Insane. Yeah, that's, that's fresh ground pepper. I might leave the delve in the entire time. Eye of Truth, also a great one. I love that. The uh, I, Let's go two deciphered reality, man. Cut those beat cops and go two deciphered reality, or take your charisma already and actually play one. I see you cut the beat cops. I'm never going to play the beat cop. Cut them. Decipher that reality. All right, meantime, I'm definitely going to cut its, its time. So Delve netted us probably one experience this entire campaign, because that one time it lost us at least one or two. We don't talk about that. Delve's going to become my second black cat, which means the, the build is officially realized. At this point, we've got double black cat, we've got double recall, we've got double ritual candles. I'm feeling like this version of Jim Culver actually would be, is overkill and standard and would be a great build for hard. I think this Jim Culver build would be great in hard, especially once it got, once it got up to speed. Um, what's that brown, brown loaf? Well done. I can't imagine what that means. Well done, guys. Got to dash. You guys got me hyped for this game with your Jim Con demo back in the day. It's great nice. to watch you playing it now. Stay safe. That was a great demo. So great. She gave one of the best demos we've ever Thank received. Thank you, brown loaf. Okay, Black Cat is in. That's five of seven. And then I think we upgrade our final shriveling zero to a shriveling three for one experience. 
So that's six spent, and I have one XP from last game. So I have two experience. Let's go right up to Shriveling 5. Yep. Let's go. Boom. I think we've done it, dude. I'm fully realized. You have arrived. All right, so we've got two level five shrivelings. We've got two black cats. What more do you? What more can you ask for here? I don't. I mean, here we are. I've already got charisma. I just don't have the actual card in front of me. Bought charisma last time, so I've got it all. I've got it all, man. How many more scenarios? Two. Yep. I get to have fun then. That means I could do. Is there an upgraded storm of spirits? I think there is. Yeah. And there's not an upgraded read the signs, I don't reckon. Now I could also go, what's that six cents worth? Yeah, I agree. I, I could just stay at shriveling three. Is it, does it give me plus two still? What's the, what's the difference? Okay, so five is plus three and plus two damage. And then what the other shriveling is like, plus two, plus one damage. Yeah, plus two, plus one. It's kind of nice to have both out. Hmm. So let's think about that. So I've got five, I've got three XP to spend. And I've now got double, I've got Black Cat and Olive in play, so I feel like I'm okay with taking Horror. I'm gonna do level five shriveling. Let's just keep it consistent. You guys know that's the name of the game here. Wow, I feel so powerful now. Powerful, yeah. Powerful, yeah. And the next uh. scenario I'll do, I either do a Storm of Spirits or I bring in a level five uh, Sixth Sense. I think that's right. Or I bring in this double or nothing. Mm. Maybe that's my 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 last second to last. Your Super Saiyan form. Yeah, pull. What does the upgraded Storm of Spirits do? So yeah, what's Storm Level Three up to? Now I could also go that direction. Let's look at that. That would only cost me one. I'd bank two. Nah, that's unfortunate. Just three instead of two. That's not bad. I'm I'm gonna stick with it consistent. So then next next uh, next scenario, I'll be able to arcane research into storm of spirits three for one experience. And then if I have the extras, if I have three extra, I'll buy a double or nothing and replace. Hmm. Replace what? One Eureka, probably? That's awkward. King Canoe to the toot toot toot. That's right. How much is Charisma? Three uh, experience. There's probably some upper level allies there, too, that are somewhere. Oh, don't sleep on that upgraded Beat Cop now. But you need money. Your money's your problem. Yeah, what's my money option here? Um, Let's see, you got cracked the case in already. Upgraded emergency caches, but. How much of those? May as well put the backpack in at that point. Um, I think it's two or three experience per. And what's it get you? I think it's not good. It's get three money and also draw a card as well, not just three money, which is better. It's like uncage the soul, but weird. There's got to be other ways to get money. There's probably a do a test, gain bucks, feed the mind, or something like that. Like, do I do I want two decipher reality for real? I think absolutely you do. That's what you came here to do. Your entire, every stream has been nothing but deciphered reality. That's true. I think I do that and I save one and I make a couple adjustments. I think I'm gonna drop one beat cop. And then, I think one goes in my deck and one goes in my hunch deck. Oof, yeah, go for it. 
Um, I've had worse is good. Money option for you. You can check out what that is. What's I've had worse? Or no stone unturned. Oh, doesn't the, the... You could always upgrade that no stone unturned to the level five where you search your deck for any card. It's pretty good. Some would say that's a pretty good card. Yeah, it is good. All right. Go get anything you want. 2 XP, I've had worse. You want to look at Arkham DB? No, sir. You want to come with us, guys? Hold on, we're not there yet. Let's take you on a journey. On a journey to Arkham DB. I can't, I can't play that card. You can't? Leadership. Can't you, can't you take leadership cards? Level four? No. Can I not do that? Can I do that? That's not right. That's not it. That's not. That's not the card. No. What's chat saying? That's not the card. Uh, the two XP. Look at the different one. There should be a two XP one, maybe. But you can't. Can you run guardian cards? Maybe. I thought it was just. Insight. Yeah, because I'm playing beat cop. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's right. And you can only take, I think, probably up to level two. Yeah, that bottom one. Hmm. Okay. Cancel damage and gain that much money? That actually can be really good. But I have to be taking damage. <laughs> it's conditional. Dang. Because yeah. um, like the other option is one decipher reality and then upgrade. Upgrade like, stone? Well, it could be no stone unturned. I could even upgrade like one preposterous sketches and remove it from my hunch deck and it's a zero cost, put it in my actual deck. Mm -hmm. So then I have even more draw going on, like if I, especially if I'm putting one of these in. Yeah. It's like that's a really natural. Swap in. And then that's where like if I'm dropping one beat cop, it's like I could upgrade a beat cop and now I'm at nine, I still have two experience left. You look at uh, Astounding Re Revelation is not a bad thing to look at. It would only fire whenever you're using Practice Makes Perfect. So it's not that good, but it's basically when you search for Practice Makes Perfect, you hit it and you just get two money, right? Hmm. Hit it for some cash, for some bucks. Well, it would also hit from my search uh, any six. Oh, the no stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not bad for you at all then. Especially if at a level five no stone, you trigger it every time you search your entire deck, right? I think I would start with this card in my deck if I had known. If you'd known you were going no where, stone where practice. Going. Yeah. That's a good card for this deck. Because yeah. it's zero experience. You also, you kind of run into the awkward situation where you really need the money up front and then you don't really need it ever again. Yeah. But that's pretty standard. I mean, I think I'm fine with my money. I, the main thing is, like, I just can't have the stuff I have. Like, Beat Cop has to be so much better for me to actually think about playing yeah, him. Yeah, paying, paying four for yeah, that. which is where I'm kind of at, like, if I do one reality. Oh, that is expensive, too. Then I have Preposterous Sketches. So then... Let's go in. Which I like that. And Beat Cop. And then What's I've got the upgraded Sketches do? So it just costs zero instead. And so, like, I'm looking at the card I'm taking out of my insight deck mm -hmm. is preposterous sketches, and so then it goes into my actual deck as a zero card, zero cost draw card. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Which is super good. Um, and then the beat cop I'm keeping, I can upgrade. Well, some would also say that I mean, sketches you play for free anyway when it's here, when it's on your hunch deck, and it doesn't cost you a card. So unlike this one, mm -hmm. so this in your hand is actually worse than the zero level in your hunch deck. Yeah, assuming you actually want to, unless it's the worst card in your hunch deck, and then you want to get it out for other things. So that's where I'm definitely the keeping card in your hunch deck? cryptic research in. Yes, I'm definitely keeping extensive research in. Yeah, I'm also keeping working a hunch in, which is the zero cost get a clue fast action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it's the pay. It's the draw three. Yeah. So it's probably the. This is fast draw three. This is two clues free. That's a free clue. Oh, I also have no stone. Now, Stone is probably the worst card. You could probably cut that. I mean, you could either cut it or you upgrade it. I think that's kind of where you are in your game. What's a search your entire deck worth? It's worth a lot, but like it also is the worst thing to flip for you. I feel like we're always disappointed when you flip No Stone. Because I'd rather have any three cards than one specific card. Yeah. At this point, all the cards are so good that just drawing cards is better. But do you do one deciphered reality, 
flip it. You could upgrade a no, upgrade a no stone and then swap a level zero no stone for an upgraded deciphered reality, and then you'd have a hunch deck of the gods. But I also think that deciphered reality is really best in your main deck because there's going to be one time in the game when it really is good. And I don't want it to have to be when I hit that. I mean, you're going to hit a turn two, and it's going to be nothing. Your hunch deck's busted. And then turn four, nothing. Yeah. And then so turn eight, in, yes. In that case, how about we just do this? I'm going to go two Decipher Reality. They're going to go in the deck. Beat Cop's gone. Done. It's clean, man. Clean. Get out of here. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go indeed. Now just make sure you have enough money at all times. I really need that. That card. Astounding. Astounding Revelation. Doesn't it only cost one, right? I have one left. You have one left. You can put all three of them in if you We're want. We're doing it. Yes, 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 yes. What do you cut? What You, you got to cut three cards from your deck to do it. Not even a challenge. Fingerprint kit? How do you feel about that? <laughs> Just kidding. These are staying. These are staying. Worst card. Logical reasoning. It's, it's on the list. Sometimes it fires well, sometimes it doesn't. You could also only put like two Astounding Revelation in. Yeah. Just give you a little boost, a little shot in the arm. <laughs> Do you even need Hawkeye anymore? I don't think so. I that's... mean, you're doing it all from skill cards, right? So you just cut the Hawkeyes. That's where I'm at. Here's two. Although I will say. These are all staying. This can only trigger once. Oh, you there'd be a sick deciphered reality where you, you juice up your camera in one swing. <laughs> Three pictures. Yeah. So it's definitely these two. They've been the least useful. And then these are good. Mm. But there's a lot of tests you wouldn't pass definitely without these. Yeah. I dude. If, if it's, it's me, it's two. those two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just those two. It's those two. I just need a little little gas in the tank. Yeah. So what's the name of that card? Uh, Astounding Revelation. Oh. I can grab it for you. Great. Coming at you. This is really what Arkham's about. You off my screen? Yeah. Don't want to show off all the sensitive product information. Yeah, right. Do you want to pull up the schedule, product schedule? <laughs> yeah. Get people's hopes way up. You guys, you don't even know. You don't even know the products we are making for this game, compatible for this game. You're, you're not ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I want that Carcosa board today. Yeah. Well, you can technically have this one. Uh, I sure can. <laughs> but I want it for reals. Yeah, you're right, actually, Northern Lights. You're totally right. The Hawkeye, it says your location, doesn't it? So then you'd have to be it. The tomb. The okay. tome. The tome. To the tome. Nicely organized. All right. Astounding revelation. We saw this card in Mandy. <laughs> great Josh effect. says, do they rhyme with vocation barkers? <laughs> <laughs> they might. Some would say. Among other things. Astounding revelation. It might also be in one of those packs. Let me figure out where it comes from. It comes from... Is it a Dream card? Eaters. Oh, Dream Eaters, yeah, it probably is then. I get it. Is, Dream Eaters is the box though, right? Yeah, it's the box. Don't we have it in, uh, isn't there a, yeah, I think it's in there. I think it's right over here. Let me check. Harvest saying, hey fellas, thanks for all the Arkham content. Any ETA on when the Carcosa boards are coming out? Yes, very soon. A couple of weeks, probably. Uh, we're definitely in the weeks category. Um, some final steps, this is the, Basically, final prototype. Um, we have it in hand. We we can prove we can make it consistently, efficiently, without error. Effectively, not defected. Only took a um, while to figure that yep. out. Yep, you can see it's got the felt on the back. So this will be coming super soon. Um, it's the, definitely the next thing coming out for us, and we uh, we're working as fast as we can to get that out. If you're not, if you've ever bought Arkham from us uh, or components from us, you'll you'll be notified first thing before we even publicly post it anywhere else. Uh, via email. Otherwise, uh, check out our, I think you can sign up in, for the newsletter in the bottom of the Arkham footer. Or just follow us on social stuff. You'll know. You'll know when it's happening. Astounding revelation. No breathing. That is not mine. 
but yeah, uh, we'll we'll have it out. I'm really excited. I, I love I love this the way this board looks. Gold gold's one of my favorite colors, particularly like golden red or golden black. Sand. Sand, I guess. I don't know. I think gold just goes really well with red and black, which are the two colors I find myself uh, enjoying the most. Gold goes with black so well. Harvest says, awesome. I'll put in a big order when they're out. We really appreciate it. It's a huge component of uh, what allows us to do these streams every week, five days a week. So everyone's been buying the components and subscribing and content members and stuff. Huge shout out to all of you for your support. It's been great. OK. No stones? No stones. What? Is this all the player cards? Yeah, these are all the things that we bought, because I don't think Robert has the Dream Eater stuff. So there's one. Wait, Astounding? Oh, it doesn't even cost you a, uh, cool. So you hey. just pay one to swap it in? Yeah, I got the other one here, but that's fine. There's two. So the, these are from our Yeah, these are from collection. our collection. Don't mind me taking a picture for reference. And that's right, right? When you buy a Myriad card, you can buy pay one experience for any all of them. That's right. Even if you get replacing multiple cards. If that's if that's true, I think that's true. That's the rules for Myriad, right? Uh, this is yeah. Look in hindsight, that's absolutely. I think that's the card. If, if every time that it was the search six, I also had a chance to gain two money, like. That's fire. Yeah, it is fire. And also and the nine for practice. When you're pra if I practice and gain two money, yeah. get out of town. It just gives you well, outs. I'm super excited. So we have two scenarios Woo! left. Two left, guys. Uh, Carcosa. Next Friday. This is so great. Freaky Friday. Uh, our builds are getting realized. Like I feel super good with where Jim is right now. I think Jim and Joe are both performing supremely well. Absolutely. A good team, too. I think this two-person team, like we talked about earlier in the video, if you're a, a two-player team that's looking for two investigators to build up and try out. These two investigators, for sure, these two builds work really well together. So I feel like it'd be a good entry point for anybody wanting to play these two characters and have a good campaign. Um, would you do anything differently with your build right now? Astounding Revelation I, early? I think I would have three Astounding Over the cup, probably, I, right off the bat. Yeah, and I think the obviousness of uh, how good those skill test cards are, the practice ones particularly with practice makes perfect. Because mm -hmm. um, I, there's a few... Like the inquiry mind, it's not practice, but it's a three skill if there's a clue. And mm -hmm. it's like, I, I would take so many of those, and I only have one in here. Yeah. For no reason. I also think decipher reality earlier. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to go there, I may as well. There's so many games where, like, it, that, that would have been killer. It looks like you might. I mean, so there's going to be, in the next two scenarios, I'm pretty certain those arcane glyphs are going to work once in a way that's extremely meaningful. They had a game where they were really good for me. Yeah, that's true. Like, being able to, whoever it was, I was able to lock, the Paris in the Yeah, train, they were actually really Just good being able to lock down that big bad every time was really strong. So do you think you would go glyphs again? Would you go the clue glyphs or the... Uh, I think I went... The glyphs. This time, I haven't struggled to get clues. Yeah. So I don't know that the glyphs would. Act. I Which think is what we, Chat was saying when we were talking about upgrading. Like I think that. we did it right. The I do feel like I went a couple directions I didn't need to. Like I had the Hawkeye camera, mm -hmm. and it's like that's fine. Early on, it wouldn't. I mean, it was good early on. Yeah, and maybe that's necessary. But like, there's only so many tools. You could also go magnifying glasses over Hawkeye. Yeah. Um, just get plus one to investigate. I think that's mainly it. I think the insight cards that I picked early were really good. Um, I love your hunch deck right now. So good. I think the theory of like just put as many draw cards in your hunch deck as you can is the right is the right thing. And then playing a strategy that makes use of those cards, right? You have the skill test cards that get way way good when you have seven or eight cards in your hand. Yeah. You have the get two clues cost ten, but it's minus one for every card in your hand, and like you just start. It's been the hard stack to up. play, even though it looked good uh, every time. This game it didn't. I yeah. I played it. Yeah, the last couple of games were. It yeah, was this tough. one was hard, but it, part of it was I hit that amnesia twice. Twice. Um, yeah. So that's that's going to be a struggle. Uh, really quick, let's uh, let's go. Um, Machination says, "Hey guys, have you ever considered something to hold the mini investigators and enemy cards upright to make them pop? Yeah, from anything else? And the scenario and the act, the act and the agenda and stuff, like doing one of those in like a Dumbwitch style or Carcosa style or something. It would be cool. I think it would be killer. Wouldn't that be nice?" Let us know what you think. Do you think that would be cool? Uh, Northern Lights Over Arkham, the camera we're using, we're using both uh, X-T3s, Fujifilm X-T3s. Love Fuji stuff. 
recently switched. We were using Canons for the longest time. Switched to Fuji. Really happy with those. Um, thoughts on the scenario? I thought that scenario was phenomenal. I love exploration, a lo lot of locations, move your way through a winding, weird uh, maze. I could see how that one has a variable difficulty based on, uh, definitely on that one, the order of encounter cards. Yeah, if it like, sprawls out in the wrong direction, we had a big brick. Yeah. We also, we hit the discard asset cards from the encounter deck well after we had a bunch of assets we didn't need. Mm -hmm. So if we had hit that early after the fingerprint kit and you don't get to use it and then you got to discard it, that would have killed us. Um, having, having the museum guys that turn into the corpse eaters, we never really experienced that until the very end when we could have a good time with it. So I think we hit the better of that scenario in terms of order, like card order. Um, I feel like the position of the locations worked in our favor. I feel like the card order worked in our favor. There were a lot of times I was drawing a bad card, and I was like, there's, there's moments in this campaign this yeah. would have been awful. <laughs> and in this particular, right now, it's not that bad. Yeah. Um, Joshua Creasel, I think Jim's just been too good at killing the bosses. The glyphs are helpful when a big bad springs up and when you're alone and need to GTFO. That's true. Yeah. It's, it's really just an emergency card, right? Mm-hmm. So that's where I also feel like I haven't had use of the heal two horror or heal two damage cards as much, mm -hmm. because like I feel like I've been able to wiggle my way out. And I did that with the glyphs one game. Yeah, um, good wiggle. And whereas normally you'd be taking damage and you would have to fix yourself and take like it, they they kind of accomplish the same goal. Yeah, one's avoiding the damage and one is fixing it after you take it. It's like it. endurance in Marvel Champions, right? Same idea. Well, this Nikki says just hopped onto the stream. My girlfriend and I started recently playing. What would your opinion be for the best campaign? That's a good question. Real quick, Joshua Creasel, I see your comment here. It is your, it is Joshua's birthday. Hey, happy, happy birthday. birthday, Joshua. That's awesome. Glad uh, you uh, decided to share it with us. I hope this past year of your life was uh, phenomenal, and I hope the year to come is the best yet. Ultimately, uh, so happy birthday. It's a, it's a big deal. One of the things that is actually kind of amazing to me about birthdays, you know, as I get older, they just become less significant, and that's. You lose a little something in that. Like, you know, your birthday when you were like 13, 14, it was like, oh my big gosh, deal. it's my birthday. And now it's like, ah, another day, you know? Uh, so, I don't know, make it feel special. However it is that you need to make it feel special. I like the Hobbit approach to birthdays. Fireworks and booze? Well, yes. That's the, well, that's 111th <laughs> birthday. That's a special <laughs> occasion. Uh, wizard fireworks and, and lots of booze and food. No, they do... Uh, on their birthday, they give everyone their life that they care about something. Mm, that's and it doesn't, nice. doesn't that be fancy? That's very or it's nice. Just like even a nice word. Your text birthday, message, it's or like, phone call. hey, I made another. Yeah, exactly. A, a note, a, a pipe. Write uh, somebody something. Trinket. Apparently, it's a, it, in the in the books. It's funny. It's like an uh, the things you notice when you're. I read it when I was young. Lord of the Rings. I've been mm -hmm. rereading it recently. That I noticed this time. Uh, that I never knew. knew yeah. Uh, that stick out as a, I'm just older. And it was like basically pointing to the fact because it was planning for Bilbo's birth, uh, the big birthday with the fireworks, and he's like uh, essentially it references the fact that he has a bunch of trinkets from mm. all the people because he's well like people think he's wealthy so everyone wants to get him something to maybe on his oh, birthday they get something back right uh, and so then like and then it mentions that hobbits a lot of times will like they'll get stuff and they'll re-gift it because it's like. Nice. But it's just like, a, all that to say, it's, I a, it's like, like, I like that a lot. Show, a, show the people in your life who, who you appreciate that you appreciate them, which I think is just a cool, uh, I don't know. what It's a cool tradition. Yeah. Yeah. Nikki Affey, uh, to, to go back to that question, so what would you, the best campaign, so be, best campaign is obviously there's a lot to that, but what I would say is I don't think you can appreciate Carcosa fully unless you've played at least one other campaign, because especially Dunwich, like going from Domish to Carcosa is where a lot of the community experienced Carcosa for the first time. And that dichotomy between those two campaigns is really why Carcosa becomes such a standout. Um, because basically it turns a lot of the things you've come to expect from Corset and Dunwich on its head and becomes a lot more psychological, creepy, and weird, which I like. But that's also where it's cool because you go from Carcosa to Forgotten Age and that is an enti entirely different. That's a similar kind of dichotomy that you're well, it, moving from. It's a derivative each time, right? You go from yeah. like, you're an investigator with slightly creepy things going on, mm -hmm. and then it gets a little creepy, like pretty creepy and weird here in Carcosa. Very creepy. And this is and the most creepy of all the campaigns. It goes one more derivative on the curve, and it's like, now we're just hitting insanity. Now, that Forgotten Age is like, it's like, so if Dunwich and Carcosa split off like this, Forgotten Age is another split of Dunwich. 
and then Carcosa is overdoing its own thing, and I feel like Dream Eaters may be another split from Carcosa. I think Undone is more in the Dunwich, Forgotten Age side, um, and Carcosa and Dream Eaters are more like eerie, weird, um, out of this world, otherworldly kind of stuff going on. I haven't played Dream Eaters. Uh, I think I played through the main box, maybe? I can't remember. Uh, but it seems like it's going to be more of a spectral, like, ooh, things are weird, and there's this dream world, and there's this map, and it's all crazy. Uh, so, I bet it's Dunwich, right? I haven't played it, but it seems like you go corset into Dunwich. I would always suggest corset into Dunwich, or just buy your corset and go right into Dunwich and skip the first. Because those corset snares are rough. Yeah, it's pretty tough. But that's where I, I do think that, like, if part of it, too, is the cards were designed. Uh, in a certain path, mm -hmm. right? So, like, the expected design was that you would get to Dunwich with a core set. Uh, whereas, like, if you just jumped into Forgotten Age and all you have is a core set, I don't know how... It'd be so tough. That would not be It'd be great. so tough. It's a tough one. Um, and then Circle Undone, yeah, we don't know. We don't know. We haven't played Circle Undone, have we? I haven't. We didn't play Circle Undone, I, no. Yeah, I've, I've run literally through it a pretty little much bit just played what's Robert on camera. Philip, but um, I get to really focus and experience it, like zoomed in and really uh, kind of soaking it in fully whenever you and I play on these streams, which is really nice. So it, it allows me to actually like zoom into those scenarios. We take it really casually when we're playing uh, over at Philip's house. So I don't know enough about Circle and Done. I haven't been paying enough attention, honestly. Just meandering around and having a cocktail every now and again. Well, we might get to it. What's up, Nico to Groot? Hey, it's good to see you. I think we're about to get out of here. Zach, you wanna head out? Yeah, let's go. Guys, have a great, great weekend. Thank you for being here. Uh, we got these Carcosa boards. They will be on sale. Here, let's let me zoom you guys. Soon. These will be on sale soon. Um, boy, they've got some nice features. So we've got the uh, Spires of Carcosa over here. A nice flip there. We've got the uh, Dim Stars. The whole Jonathan does a re remarkable amount of research. That's and we're able to do that and pay him to do that because you guys are here and watching and buying. So and continuing to buy them. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep doing it as long as we can keep doing it. Um, so this is great. This is coming in a couple of weeks. We'll, we'll let you know. I, you'd have to not, we'd have to fail at our job if you didn't somehow find out that those were on sale. Um, we'll announce it on the stream. We'll announce it via the newsletter. We'll announce it via social media. So follow us somewhere and you'll get the alert. Newsletter is always first. We just tend to reward people who are kind of on the most intimate uh, communication channel with us. So if you want to do that, you can find that on our website. You have to have an account, and then you go to your uh, account page, and you can kind of set your settings and decide what games you want to get updates about. And uh, have a great weekend. It's Friday. It's a, it's a, it's a weekend. Um, it's, either, it's probably a notable weekend for a great many people. And uh, for that, be safe, uh, but also uh, be bold, I guess I would say. Do great, do great things. Change the world if you need to. If you need to. Yeah. I think, I think you do. Someone's got to. I'll change it. All right. It's been a privilege. You guys were awesome on the chat. Thanks for the help catching the experience point and helping us with the rules and just being here with us to experience this. I'm going to give you a full screen on the out. Oh, yeah. I'm tiny right now. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not, that's okay. I'm tiny right now. I'm so tiny. tiny. Really appreciate it. We'll be back next week with a full week of streaming, so stay tuned and stay safe. We'll catch you next week.